Hello. I'm good. Hold it. I got to do my makeup. morning oh. Oh, okay. do more photo shoots today but I had to do my makeup All right, thank you. Thank you for the raid.
<laughs> Trying to figure out what to play while I do my makeup. Um... I got to pitch my show to Jubilee last year, and I got to make it, and it was so much fun. Jubilee just came out with the Greater Launchpad, an opportunity where you can submit your show to uh. Jubilee and get paid for it. Click the link in the description below for more information. I live in a house with all my best friends. <sighs> We're all positive. You stay right oh where God. you are. Hello, everyone. Hello. So that's, that's most, so you can stay there. <laughs> <laughs> You're good, too. Okay, I'm like, good. All right. Like this. I'm nice in the middle, is that what you're saying? I think you have to take a, a little walk over there. Oh, me? Do I look like that much of a slut? OK. <laughs> She, notice she did. She didn't say anything. She just moved quickly. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I feel like I uh, kind of fly under the radar. Uh, people always assume I'm I'm cis and straight, and people tend to be a little surprised. Based on my conservative outfit choice, I'm gonna move myself one. I was moving. All right. I was gonna <laughs> say. <laughs> good, good. I just want to make sure. Even though you're incognito, I just. <laughs> I feel like I just think one. I think yeah. you should actually go right oh back. Oh my up. god! Okay. All right, all right. Okay. I think that's okay. kind of okay. cool. Okay. It's real okay. Quick. Nice shoes, you know. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I didn't pick ones, so <laughs> somebody else in my life is clearly <laughs> somebody <laughs> else in your life. Somebody else. Move right on up. All right. <laughs> all right. <laughs> How do we feel about the lineup? I think it's good. I have no opinion. On, on where you should be, <laughs> I, then you need sh you should probably move one yeah. one one yeah that's alrighty there you go I think we're good yeah this feels good <laughs> when did you all first know that you were polyamorous the day I was born yeah right. <laughs> okay. Okay. came out the okay. boom. I like where you are in the line out of all the relationships that I'd ever been in no matter I actually feel like that been, girl has the um, least to my partner she's, she's a wannabe poly kind of young, who the fuck would want to sleep with that that shit looks like an abomination I said it two or three years it's ago. true so I want to say it's still kind of new to me but every day is really a learning experience when I start to figure that out when I tell you wannabe poly, poly. College, and they explain <laughs> the fuck the hell sleep with the fucking cave troll you get from experiencing somebody else's joy Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> Every relationship looks, I've had since that moment some was me trying to talk about troll it bullshit. and it not being correct. Goblin you know? yeah. magic. Like, <laughs> it's the first cr group I've ever been in where everybody goes, yes. We get to. We get everybody to. else goes, no, we don't. I was a serial monogamist. It just kind of transforms slowly. Partners were on board, so yeah. They, there's this expectation that you're supposed to be selfish when you're in a relationship. <laughs> and that is just never computed with me. I would say it's about like been a year and a half, two years of like me when I'm dating. I'm like, yeah, this is what I do. This is yeah. Welcome. I think you go up. Yeah. This direction. Yeah. All right. Switch with one. me. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You might be able to move up. You can move down. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I live in a house with all my best friends. 
We're all poly. You're all poly. Yeah. You stay I there. Love that. You stay right where you are. <laughs> Do you guys need a new roommate? I or? said they're my best. I just said they're my besties. Like, schizophrenic. How much free time she has no roommate. She lives alone with For the all parents. Of my partners. Uh, there's not enough time, like in her but and stuff. I give most of my time to my current primary all? partner. Yeah, she just said all, oh. all. Oh. They, they said oh. all. They, just they said all. Said yeah. All. Yeah. As yeah. I will say, most of my time is used by work. <clears throat> I just work entirely too much, so. Oh, I feel okay. Like so yeah, so the back, <laughs> come back. <laughs> where, where am I going? Right here? Yeah, yeah. Doing right. a lot of shifting around in the middle over here. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. Oh gosh, yeah. No, I do not have an inch of time. It's partly because I'm still trying to figure out my own time management, trying to balance that with other people, has been a learning curve. Free agent. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scooch, Not scooch this way then. I feel like I have some, some time. Are your partners poly? Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. That would be crazy. You can, you can be poly and date monogamous. Yeah, I would. So, I so wait till you've dated a monogamous person being poly? Yeah, yeah. Like, they're monogamous. Wow. They don't want to date anyone themselves, and our relationship, and it, like, that line monogamous is monogamous. Exactly, gotcha. exactly, exactly. You literally could not pay me to be monogamous ever again. I think it's a trap. What about careers? I'm a comedian. Oh, yeah. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. This guy gets it. <laughs> this guy gets some. <laughs> okay. I make music. Why, why did we take the anchor out? Cool. Music. No. Music above comedy. <laughs> Rock star above anybody who makes jokes. I am yeah. um, a professional dominatrix and a professional sex worker. I am an influencer and I'm a voice actor. Word. I just feel like you have more partners. This <laughs> 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 is really weird. Like, hey. Cool. Yeah. My question is how long is your longest relationship? 18 years. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I find that when I talk to monogamous people about, like, because people are always curious. I mean, usually they're curious for a reason. But, yeah. um, <laughs> like, like I'll, I'll start talking to them about it. And, like, a lot of the stuff that we say align, like being honest with my partner or, like, Hold how I want to live my life or how I want to, like, choose every day to commit to someone and make that, like, an active choice as opposed right. to, like, yeah, own someone out. and control someone. Like, a lot of those things in the dating world, like, my friends that are monogamous, that date around like all of the same complaints that they have are the ones that I have as well and like the thing the qualities that they're looking in a like for in a partner like we just go about it in a different way you over here okay. I was gonna say the same yeah. thing Interesting. I think that's yeah you might be in the beginning stages that freshness means that there's you know more experimentation I don't know people think that we're all poly just to like have sex and that's really about it all. It's more about like that deeper connection. It's more about the fact that we have commitment issues to any one person because of childhood trauma. So based on everybody here, everybody is really friendly and open and hey. exciting and easy to be. Around. And I'm less so. No, you are no, 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 no. It's all right. It's all right. <laughs> no please keep going. I'm just, I'm just bullying you. I apologize. I'm saying based off of this interaction, I think you should move closer this way. Yeah. Okay. Or past relationship trauma okay. ourselves. <laughs> Why am I still here? <laughs> no, yeah, I think that's right. That's better. That's better? Yeah. All right, okay. all right. Yeah, you're gonna tell us what to do now? Cool, cool. Chill, chill. Why don't you just tell us where we should go? How about right. that? I only, made, I only said one thing. <laughs> How do you deal with the feelings of jealousy? I will say that it is a complete myth that as a polyamorous person, you do not experience jealousy. That is bull. And if you are looking to be in a polyamorous relationship because you think there is no jealousy, you're lying to yourself. You know the old thing with the monogamous people talking about breakup sex? Mm -hmm. Breakup yeah. sex? Yeah. The monogamous community gets mad at each other. They have a fight and they're like, I'm never, t and then they have. And she's full of trauma. Yeah. I was like, you know you could just talk about those we'll feelings, get it riled up and then do it. You don't have to break up that. with each other. If you, don't, if you don't pipe into that every once in a while, I feel bad for you. Jealousy like teaches me about myself. Because I, I think when I was monogamous, if I had a jealous feeling, then I would put that on my partner and I would say, you're doing something wrong yeah. to make me feel jealous as opposed to now when I'm like, okay, I'm experiencing jealousy. Like, what is that? Am I feeling insecure? Is there something that's actually going on in this relationship that I need to talk to them about? But like, I never put the onus on the other person for my feelings. I also think jealousy is hot. I mean, yeah, see? Yeah. Yes. Are like, you are you listening? You yeah. can get you can yeah, enjoy yeah. this. Yeah. You know, I'm feeling good. I'm moving myself. <laughs> I, think, I think we need to swap to Because you move yourself, I feel like you have to move again. Yeah. <laughs> here. 
<laughs> oh, I don't like it up here in the top. It's nice. Hi. As somebody who is um, uh, identifies as heterosexual. Uh, <laughs> mm, there you go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, please continue. Please, yeah, yeah. I, I, I didn't know I'd said that wrong. I apologize. Fine. <laughs> no, no, no. It's, oh. You're good. Okay. You said it perfectly. <laughs> um, it is interesting as being Polly now that uh, you can see somebody who's attracted to your partner and who is your gender and who are you are not attracted to but suddenly feel like, oh, we have a, a level of intimacy that I've never had with another friend. Mm -hmm. and, you, and the level of discussion I can now have with that male is something that most heterosexual men have Why never Why are they so fucked seen. up? The level of knowledge <laughs> and and all that fucking comes out of that weird. would cure a lot of the heterosexual problems. Oh. I mean, think a male about all the violence is attracted to the same woman that I was attracted to? Wow. It's almost like there's a reason why we were both attracted to this female. We have such an intimate connection. Well, you just had a penis. And the girl's conventionally attractive. It's not that deep. Jesus fucking Christ. It's a, a, attached in, in Why you... <laughs> and, and relationships of that nature. It's it's all based on jealousy and fear and oh all that my stuff. God. You could just really overthinking be open Andy's. With it. Uh, yes. What a take. I love, a take. take. I, I love that take. I love that take. Well it's it's the, the root. It's the root of a lot of problems. And I never understood. I'm gonna beat this bitch's ass with my man. Why? What? You're going after like the you weren't person. dating her. Like, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not. You're gonna move one more. You're now our anchor. Really? Just, just for the sake of it. Just to be involved. I I was trying. I, I've just now been paying attention for the last 10 minutes. I'm like, what am I doing here? You are anchor here, up here at the top. Oh That's God. Where this goes, so. I feel the pressure. How do we feel about marriage? Uh uh. I feel like marriage is just like a business contract. Like it doesn't really apply to me. Like I don't really need to do it. Is anybody currently married? Are you married? <laughs> no, I'm married. <laughs> Does that change anything? Is that a hickey on your neck? Ah! <laughs> Who showed up with a hickey? Oh my god! Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. yes. Okay. okay. I think we need to do some rearranging over here. Yeah. Well, I think hickey goes up. Yeah. <laughs> I think same. hickey moves. Okay. <laughs> How do we feel? Wait, like I'm it. moving. <laughs> I think we're good. I think we're good. I think we did some Isn't discovery. Isn't this like they had the beginning? Anya, zero partner. Correct. There have been individuals who just don't believe me. That aren't in the community themselves, but they think that I'm saying it because it's cool or trendy. Fifth, we have Denasia with one partner. <laughs> What did you do? My mind! I just need to I knew it! I hate you <laughs> so much. Wanna be Polly? Fourth, we have Jacob. I called it. Partners. Oh, wow. <laughs> and third, we actually have a tie. Justin also with two partners. Oh. Oh, wow. Second, Mia, three partners. And in first, Jax with five partners. Woo! Yeah. At least we had one. Okay. You're our girlfriend now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our girlfriend. <laughs> well, you now have five partners. You didn't know that. Say. You're actually no, you're actually a yeah. 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 You're one giant yeah. polycule. I'm usually in at least two relationships. I'm just in one right now. Alright, so we were close. <laughs> you're close. Alright, alright. So we weren't alright. <laughs> I'm in two relationships right now. I knew um, it. I've been seeing my boyfriend for about a year and my other partner for about five. Uh, I said no one wants to fucking sleep for, with that. Uh, the second person was like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> if the person was with the other person, when that one came in, that one walked out. And, uh, about eight years ago. <laughs> number two was with her number one. And she's like, mm. And so then all they had was each other. Your college friend that's on your Facebook. Five years ago, we DM'd Are you going to bring that into the house? Uh, I'm a dip. <laughs> we moved her out uh, six months later to uh, one of those in Los Angeles, and we've been together ever since. Okay, so Fuck I that. practice solo polyamory, and so the way I define a partner for me is someone that I, like, continually keep informed and expect them to do the same to me. So for me personally, I have intimate partners, and I have partners that I see as a dominatrix that I have intimate relationships with. Uh, so I have a question. Outside of the, your partners, um, who has other people that they're dating? <laughs> um, 
like two, like three. So, <laughs> like, so four. Uh, I'm not dating anyone else outside of my current relationships. Yeah, I'm not dating anybody outside my current relationships with my two partners, so. I'm crying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dating like a lot of people. <laughs> like a lot, like I'm going on a date after this. I love that for you. Yeah. I date around a lot. Like I said, I was assigned ho at birth, so yeah. that's my story. Real. That's some ghetto childhood trauma right there is what that is. I kind of need direction with that. I like. I want. I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with. So you're a little scared to like make that move. Yes. Okay, well, I've been waiting for you to make that move. Hello, and welcome to Split Decision. Today, we brought four straight couples into the studio to ask them some of the toughest, most intimate questions they have ever been asked. Uh, I don't think I've. Forget seen this. your partners behind you. Go with your gut, and most importantly, be honest. Question number one. I've faked an orgasm with my partner. Make your split decision in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. None of the guys have done it. That makes sense. To guy, you've done an orgasm? You were my first. Like, so in the very the beginning of our relationship, yeah. I just How do you use the male fake orgasm? Ah, to like, oh, yeah. babe, no like cum today. Damn, did you know? it's weird. First of all, I did, I did. Oh, you I knew did. she faked it? Yeah, I did, I did. <laughs> How did you know? <laughs> it's pretty fake, so. I, do, I don't fake it now, I promise. We met during high school, like sophomore year. We've been together for four years and married for two. Jenny. Um, he actually was not very good at the beginning. He sucked in the beginning? Not anymore, though. Not anymore, more, though. I, I think that our sex life right now is very pretty compatible. But when we first started dating, like, four or five <laughs> months like... in, yeah, I was doing that for yeah. like, that, <laughs> that time period. Hmm. I would eat the booty if my partner <laughs> asked me to. OK, make your split decisions in a three, a two, a one. <laughs> OK, turn around. Very, very interesting. <laughs> you know, the one who says I'm yes. I'm going a little ass, actually. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Have y'all done it? No. no. Do you want him to ask? <laughs> no? Okay. No. Ladies, no? I. He asked you to. He's, he's asking you. He's taking the initiative. He said, like, babe, please. He already did. He already did. I have asked. And I said, You've asked. So. No success. We've been together for nearly 11 months now, and we met through Hinge. Hinge success story. I spent a long time trying to find like the perfect thing to say to catch her attention, and uh, I got I got lucky. Eats I mess. wish my partner were more kinky and would take more risks in it's bed. Nasty. Make your split decision. I don't in. think I would ever eat ass. Okay. That's just gross. I don't. I I would rather shit on his chest than tongue his asshole. Okay, I, I cannot. Nope. Nope. Disgusting. Three, two, a one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> what kinks? Just like in general other stuff, because even though I do want it to be intimate, there are times where I do want it to be like, whoa, you know, like a little... Some costumes, some okay. toys. I mean, I like to dress up. I like lingerie. I feel like 
that would be that would make me feel sexier. Tell us, tell us. What are you asking you agree? for? What are you asking for? <laughs> huh? What do you want to feel? Uh, want? I don't know. We've been together for almost five years now. I I have a I have a thing for maybe like. I don't even know if I can say this. <laughs> maybe like doing stuff in public, like that's a that's a big like fetish yeah. of mine. Okay. Um, <laughs> have you told Have you told him this <laughs> that you want to do stuff in public? What you mean is like public but in private in the same time. Yeah, what like do you mean people can see in you like a now? bathroom no, stall, can't see you. like uh, okay. in like a hidden spot on the beach, like like that type of vibe. Elevators. <laughs> I think we have done a lot of that actually. Okay. But you want more. <laughs> yeah. All right, Shady. Um, I feel like we're both in the same place when it comes to getting kinkier. Um, I definitely want to explore, like everybody said, toys and costumes. And I, I do like being swept on my feet and I know he'd like to see me in like a schoolgirl outfit. I just want like to take it to the next level. Really like taking advantage of our bodies and like this is mine like I'm gonna show you like this is mine I want to be dominated I kind of need direction with that I like I want I want to know exactly what you're comfortable with so you're a little scared to like make that move yes okay well I've been waiting for you to make that move <laughs> you should tell me to make the move I should make the move I will make the move we've been dating for a little over a year now she used to date one of my best friends in high school then they uh, kind of broke up and um, been together just, ever since. Yeah. I'm better at sex than my partner. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Okay, go ahead and turn around. <laughs> yes, okay. Uh, JD, you're, you both think you're better at sex than the other person. Ooh, okay. Um, I want to hear more. <laughs> I said yes because I seem to initiate it more and I feel like I'm always putting myself out there and I'm always you know, trying to try new things even if alcohol is not involved. <laughs> um, and you are kind of just passive <clears throat> in the moment and I don't mind it, but I would like more initiative. I will say that you do definitely have um, more of the uh, initiative side down, but I think that the uh, the act of um, <laughs> <laughs> the act of love making um i have pretty pretty down but to be fair i am a lot easier and you are a lot more difficult what do you mean he's more difficult <laughs> he's more difficult to make finish it, it takes a it while it takes a long time if she was better at it would it last a shorter amount of time yes when we first started dating it definitely was much shorter because it was new, it was fun. Then she gained weight. And not that it's bad or anything like that. And I gained um, weight. But like it's, and now neither of us are I that attractive. And it's just, it takes me a while. Maybe is that why you don't initiate? Because <laughs> it's not as good as maybe once was? No, that's not why. Well, maybe get out of the groove and try new things with me and do what I want to do and we won't have this problem. Okay, okay. This is why you take the lead, though. No, you. <laughs> she, she, what do you want to do that he's not doing? I want more. I want everything to be different or different positions, like, like all that kind of stuff. You guys just do one position right now? It's just missionary. It just it falls back into that, and I don't want to just sit there. We we rotate sometimes. Sometimes. On a good day. <laughs> Alondra, you're better at sex, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I think so. I was his first, so there wasn't a lot to work with at the beginning. I feel like we have kind of the opposite problem from them. I feel like he wants to have like sex and I don't. I want it to be more sex. intimate. What, what is what is sex? What you see on porn or something or like in movies. Yeah, I want real. it to feel like he loves me. I don't want it to just feel like he wants to fuck me. I, I, I want maybe a balance of both. I do feel like I'm kind of more the open-minded one too. I'm like, okay, well maybe we can, you know, throw some of this, throw some of that in there. I put no, cause like she said, I was, she was my first. Like the first time I was like, I, I already knew what was gonna happen, you know? So I was like, how can I make this memorable? So before then I put like Kung Fu Panda on. <laughs> like that's my movie right there, you know? You put movie. Kung Fu Panda on, you, had, you made love to her with Kung Fu Panda. Yeah. <laughs>
Jack Black spinning sticks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, because it's memorable, you know. It's, yep. And then like, thirty seconds later, it's it's all over. At most. The second time, I was like, oh, I'm gonna beat this. You know, I can't. Yeah. I can't beat. I'm gonna put on Shrek instead. Maybe ten seconds, and I'm like, oh damn. Ten seconds. You were worse the second time. We've been together for a year and ten months. We were. Co-worker. I was new, and he had been there a while, and that he alone ignored makes me. It memorable. Yeah, I was just nervous. Yeah. He says he was nervous. I was like, oh, you know, like, do you have a girlfriend? And he was like, no. I was like, perfect. You have one now. I'm gonna be your girlfriend. <laughs> I think my partner so needs to lose weight or exercise more. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. Here we go. And turn around. And she wants it to make it seem like she loves he loves okay. her. She literally was just like, I'm be your girlfriend. Yes. Oh, yeah. the only guy though. That <laughs> right. Yeah. Doesn't necessarily mean that you're fat or whatsoever. Just basically we should move around more. It's funny that you're saying that because I've been begging you to go to the gym with me. So you don't like working out? I don't find joy. But you want me to work out. Okay, cool. No, no, not work out, not work out, but like, you know, move more. Move around more. Most of the time she only go to the gym if I say yes, sure, we'll go to the gym. Yeah, because I want to go to the gym with you. Going to the gym is very, as a woman, it's yeah. it's very nerve-wracking. That's true. Because like you just feel like like a lot of men are like staring at you, yeah. so going with I a partner agree. just makes me feel like a hundred times better. That's why I want you to go with me so bad. And, and you've asked him to go with you? I've, I asked him many times. Oh. Like How come you haven't gone? Every week. Well, she also asked me in the four, four in the morning. <laughs> Devin has been telling me so many times I want to get back to the gym, but he never goes. Mm. Devin, how does that make you feel? I mean, in the morning, good. fuck that it too. It makes me feel a bit lazy, you know, because I've been promising, you know, to get bigger and get bigger muscles and stuff for months now. And I, I, I mean, I started, I did start going for a few months and then I just got lazy again. Shady, you say yes. Anthony, you say no. Um, I feel like we've been dating for a year now, so. Um, You've, we've kind of like gotten that relationship way and now we're more comfortable with each other. Okay. And you complain about <laughs> gaining a little bit of weight. Well, I, I just have a little bit of a dad gut, but. My partner is the most confident person I've ever dated. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. And go ahead and turn around. Okay, interesting. Three of the gentlemen say yes. Three of the ladies say no. Alondra, let's start with you. I said no because I think he's like perfect in my eyes, but he always has something negative to say about himself. You know, just from looking at him, he has a, a lot of good qualities, a lot of good features on him, and he <laughs> doesn't think he's that attractive. <laughs> and I'm like, uh, have you seen yourself in the mirror? Like, you are very attractive. Anything you want to say to that? Okay, so I've only ever dated one other person before her. Um, it was an online or I mean, long distance. We're pretty much the same, I guess. Very anxious and like low self-esteem and whatever. But like, like seeing her do the things she um, does, like it, it, it inspires me because I want to be. He's such a bitch. Like Why her. does she choose him? Um, so <laughs> no, just just everything she does. Like I just want to be more like her in that in that regard. You know, she's she's just amazing. So, mm -hmm. Jenny, Devin is the most confident person you have ever been with. But Devin, Jenny is not the most confident no. you've ever been with. No. 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 Big no. Okay. Like, where is she at 1 to 10? I would say, honestly, I would say you're at like a, like a 5 or a 6. And I think we could, we could probably move that on up where, to like Where do a, you feel you are? What's your 1 to 10? A 3. A 3? Three. Three. Mm -hmm. I, think, I think for me, it's like my upbringing, where, I, where I'm from. Um, uh, I grew up in Asia. Yeah, it's an Asian thing. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Thank you. Sure. Uh, Takahashi, I get it, all right. Uh, <laughs> been there, my friends. Yeah, yeah. but he's the most confident you've ever been with. Yeah, I like it, though. <laughs> how, many, how many guys have you been with? <laughs> he's my fourth boyfriend. Fourth, okay. And what's, what's he at, one to ten? I would say he's uh, nine. Really? Yeah. yeah. Wow, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. One of these, all right. All right, let's, go on to move, let's move on to the next question, everybody. My family approves of my partner. Make your split decisions in three, two, one. All right, go ahead and turn around. No, huh? Tell yeah, us more. I came from a very, very cultural uh, family. Uh, my parents were ex definitely expecting me to date my own race, in a way. So 
Besides that, a lot of cultural difference as well that my family did not go well with. And is that still going on? They still don't? Still going on, still working on it at the moment for me. How does that make you feel? It, it's been the, probably the hardest thing that we ever had to go through. For sure. Just because I want so bad to be accepted. Yeah. Um, and one day hopefully have a relationship with your family. Yeah. And then it also like just brings a lot of insecurities in myself. Like yeah. I'm not like good enough. And to a point, it kind of started to make me question if I'm accepted too, in a way, because of the relationship as well. So it's been tough for that. Yeah. Or is pole dance? We ever got a climb. Have you checked your butthole? And you say no as well. What's the story? Well, I say no because my mom. She's like very old traditional like. Mexican mom and she expects a lot from my partner regardless of who they are she really expects a lot like she needs them to kind of work their entire life work away the only thing they think about is like working and working. not anything outside of that and the man is supposed to take care of everything I mean I haven't told him this but my mom thinks that he has a lot of free time and she hates that. What do you that. mean pots? I mean she likes him as a person because he's a really good person but she just feels like he should be more like man. How do you all feel about those you know traditional gender norms like what we're talking about right here? I think definitely um, for oh. me and Anthony oh, we're very wipes. not based on that. Um, for the longest time, I was working two jobs and I was bringing in the income and taking care of rent. It's not that exciting. Well, he was, you know, not working as much and waiting for a promotion so he can get to that step. But I do believe, like, a relationship is whatever you can give. It's not all 100%. It's not, you know, just 50-50. It's if I come home one day and I worked really hard and I'm too tired to do the dishes, he's going to come in and do the dishes. There is a political issue that my day. partner and I will never agree on. Turn around. Every day I'm too tired to do the dishes. Okay. Anthony. What's going on? Well, whenever it kind of comes to politics, I feel like we're kind of a different mindset because of how we were like raised. Different mindset. Yeah, different mindset. I, she's very um, anti-government. Mm. I'm not anti-government. I'm, I'm kind of like, I wish the government worked more for us. Okay, I didn't know that we disagreed on that. So I'm over here. Um, I don't want to live in California. I don't want to live in the United States. I don't like the government and you know what we have going on right now. The diversity is I, is great, but it's just causing more and more problems. Mm -hmm. My dream is to like run away, live in a forest, survive off of my own abilities. Mm -hmm. like, Bitch, self you are fat as fuck. You could not survive off your own abilities. You're gonna die of starvation before your plants fucking mature. Shut I the fuck up. You cannot run life. through a forest and chase shit. States. Anyways, and if it was up to me, I wouldn't. But you thought you were on the same page about that? I thought, I, I thought we agreed that. You know, we would move away and, you know, the government. It would be nice, but I don't... Do you want to move to a forest and... I like my air conditioning. Yeah, for real. <laughs> I like my video games. Alondra, you say yes. Well, I was stuck in between yes and no because I'm... I don't feel like it's an actual issue, but um, I'm not completely against abortion. I just don't think, I guess it's fair to the life inside of you. I know a lot of people say it's not life. To me, in my conscience, it's life. Even if you have a 30% chance, or even if I have a 30% chance of dying, like I want my baby to live. Mm. When we brought that up, I was like, what if I got pregnant and I had a 30% chance of dying? Like, would you be, would break up with me if I aborted it? And she was like, yeah, I'm like, damn. Oh, you would break up with him if he aborted the baby? I would. I wouldn't want to be with someone that doesn't agree with me on that stance because mm. it's also my child. I would. Are you okay that. that he's okay with it? No. I don't like that. Bernice. Um, the fuck? During quarantine with the whole bill. How are you going to raise a baby without your partner? Well, it's worse. <laughs> the fuck? You're like, my... 
partner has a thirty percent chance of dying. Don't you don't but don't you dare you get rid of the baby. That's cause you don't actually fucking love him then. Oh, Jesus it Christ. It was like really affecting my community the most with like police br- brutality and everything that was going on. I felt like it was hard for you to understand or like really understand how um, important it was to me to like go to these That's protests. A 30, Cause your partner dies, the baby probably also died. It's a thirty percent chance of both dying. The fuck? And really, like, be there for my community. Yeah, just gamble yeah. like it that. was kind of hard for you to understand how much that meant Wait, to me. What did I disagree on again on that one? Um, it I was. Forgot. It was two years, three years. Yeah, it was. It was. It was just some like it felt like you were you were telling me like oh well you know you shouldn't be going to these protests because like they're dangerous or they were like they they weren't dangerous the protests that I was going to like there weren't th- riots I don't think I said it was dangerous. Hmm? I don't think I say it was dangerous. What did you well, say? We I was were, trying to like, you well, know, understand her intention of going to the protest, like get mm-hmm. your head straight before you action, act on something. Yeah. I don't want you to go act on something without getting your head straight in mm-hmm. a way. What do you mean by that? By understanding your intention, why are you going? What are, and what am I gaining out of this? Some questions I never even thought about before. So like, it brought up like, things that happened like years ago. What I learned about Devin today was that he has been pretty open to me, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's good to know, to go deeper into like the topics for sure, but I kind of expected what would happen. Being here today, it kind of just made at least me feel like I'm with the right person. Like I want to continue this, I want to stick it out and hopefully it goes somewhere. <laughs> me too. I mean, I'll be able to take you from the Vava to Cinco Sink, then back to the Vava. You know, you know. What? But what I can do is make sure to be a chicken noodle soup when you're sick. Um, is there a Medicare? Because this guy needs me to check if he's having a stroke. I would say my definition of Riz is every single time I've talked ever. <laughs> <laughs> If you're Gen Z, you know what Riz is. It's just using your personality and charisma to in, romantically entice a girl. It's like, it's like an all-encompassing thing, right? It's the whole package, right. Right. right? So it could be the looks, it could be your personality, it could be the jokes, it could be your pickup ones because you're witty. It's also like your approach, though, too. Yeah. Like, yeah. How you, you can't just come up to a woman and be like, oh, hey, I think you're gorgeous. Like, you're you can't gorgeous. be awkward, you can't be cringe. That is the number one yeah. Riz killer. Even if you're not that good looking, if you got mad Riz, if you got mad true. Gay, you that's can like, that's pull that way. That's 100% true. true. So how do, we, how do we want to shake this up? I would awesome. say, you said that you would like sing to women in public? Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. yeah. That's first place. No, that's terrible. I would not I want look to like a that. fucking weirdo. That's, 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 that's not confidence. And talent. That is confidence and talent. What about you guys? I think you're funny. I think you're funny. Yeah, I think you're funny. I think you're funny. You gotta go You gotta go higher. Like, actually? You're not. Hell yeah. I think you're funny. I think you're really funny. What's your go to move? <laughs> no, 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 okay. I'll, I'll go, I'll, I'll hold my shot, I'll hold my shot. I feel like it has to be more in the moment. Yeah, it's more of a moment thing, because yeah. I, don't, I don't use pickup lines, though, so I think, I don't. Because uh, yeah. anyone could Google what pickup lines. That's what I'm saying. Well, that's the thing, is like pickup lines can be cheesy, but I feel like in the right context, they could also be effective, I'm knowing s- that it's cheesy. I'm so ready for your pickup line. You don't, you don't have to, you don't have to it's a pity, it because I'm, Dave is the most conventionally attractive at the moment, based off of like face, hair, and outfit, but the most fucking annoying, also. I think you should probably be number three. I think you should be. I think you should be number. I mean, you're you're rising on Dave. And it's working. <laughs> That's the crazy thing. Nut number one. No, I'm I'm one. Number, I think one. number one for sure. Yeah, I'm That's so funny. I don't think I'm supposed to. No, no. I think yeah, yeah. you got the confidence. Wait, but every time you talk, it's Riz. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I should be true. I didn't say that. I'm okay with you. I can't comment. compete with yeah. this. I think I, those three I, are good. Dave, I noticed you're still three. at the end, and I'm wondering why you think yeah, you're at the end. Yeah. You're kind of leading the conversation right now. I feel like that's a that's up it. the line sort of thing. Okay. I think I'm a middle of the hey, but I, I, think yeah. I think I should be. I mean, you dress too. nice. You talk nice. Well, guys, come on. I've been here this entire time. I know. Do you think you got I mean, I don't know. Brag or anything, but yeah, I should definitely be up there. Come on, guys. Nothing against you. You're a cool bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's Can fun. I, may I? Yeah, I think so. I think so. Do it. Do it. I'll let you all stop. Do it. Do it. Do it. Are you going to stop? Thank you, bro. That means a lot, bro. Thank you. Thank you for this. How do, how do we feel about this? I feel good. I feel this good. I feel I this feel is perfect. I was just happy to be here. Not because I'm number one. I'm just happy to be here. Is 
cringe. Yeah. Am I wrong? No. Uh, right? Okay. Wait, what? No, you're not wrong. <laughs> no, you're correct. I mean, like, I guess a guy can try to, like, riz you and be cringe, but, like, if he has good game and he's smooth with it, then, like, I personally don't think it can be cringe. I'm with her. Yeah. But, like, cringe riz is, like, the common pickup line type. But, like, yeah. a good riz would be charismatic, positive confidence, right? If they Googled, how do I hit on a female? Like, no. it, it's like, I'm, I'm yeah, cringing. Yeah. I like confidence, mm -hmm. just not cocky. So if you like approach me like you are entitled already, and like I should just automatically go at you just because you tried, I'd turn them away right. no. very easily. And it's like, you don't have to be super confident as long as you put yourself mm -hmm. out there. Yes. And funny. Yes. <laughs> yes. I yes. Funny. Yes. And I like you could be yes. like a four, but if you got like, you know, immaculate riz, then you're a 10. Then it goes up. Yeah, probably, yeah. probably a nine. Probably yeah, a nine. I want to shoot my nine. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, girl. Oh, I was trying so hard not to laugh. <laughs> Let's start with you. Round one. Nice. Riz. Nice Hi. to meet you. Hello. Uh, let's see. We're at a well, bar, you said? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, bar. I see you're buying a drink. Um, mm -hmm. Where's mine? You have to buy it yourself, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, the other cheesy pickup line that I had. You're gonna tell me it's cheesy before you tell me? One that I thought of was, uh, are you a camera? No. Because every time I see you, you make me want to smile. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is two minutes? <laughs> <laughs> You're good, you're good, you're good. Alright, right back, right back, right back, right back. Okay. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Hi, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> I'm Logan. Uh, what's your name? My name's Kaima. I think you look really great tonight. Thank you, Kaima. I do too. <laughs> oh, I like that. You have confidence. Thank you. Can I get you a drink? No. Okay. Okay, this great. Is, Let's cut it there. <laughs> you guys didn't let me finish. You guys just started laughing. I'm not old enough to drink, okay? Uh, how'd you get in here? <laughs> I'm trying to catch a case, though. <laughs> Smart, you gotta be, you gotta play a set. It was a pleasure. Play a set. Play a set. Yeah, I was the first person, like kind of the icebreaker of the entire activity, so I had no plan whatsoever and thought of a pickup line and then fouled out. Hey! <laughs> hey! How's it I'm going? Monica. Monica. Nice to meet Arrow. you. Nice to meet what you was too. it? Arrow? Arrow? Nice yes. to meet you. I like yeah, it. I appreciate All it. All right, so what'd you got? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't do pickup lines, so I was gonna try to get Thank to know God. you. Yeah, okay. no, no, just, where are you from? New Jersey. New Jersey, I'm yeah. from Philly. Oh really? Sick, okay. look at that, over here bonding. Yeah. How do you like it over here? It's not my favorite, but like I'm more of a person that's wanting to like travel everywhere rather than just like one place and stay in that one place forever. Favorite spot, where you wanna go? Probably Amsterdam. Amsterdam, yeah. really? Yeah. Why? I want to backpack in Europe for like six months. The little and, Euro like, trip thing? Exactly. I see you have a lot of tattoos, you got a third one? Probably. His voice one. is so annoying to listen to. I actually do art too. I saw mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I would actually get a uh, mm -hmm. I've done that so many times. Mm -hmm. oh, mm -hmm. Really? I was yeah. gonna say, if you ever need any artwork, mm -hmm. yeah. cool. he's nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Emily. Emily. Yeah, we're kind of matching. It's kind of a vibe. Kind of. <laughs> I kind of like the singing a lot. So if I say, you serenade me right now? I could serenade you. Okay, let's do it. Would you like me to serenade you? Yeah. Can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Okay. But you said your name was Emily, though. So I already asked that. <laughs> yeah, what, way what too do you high. do for uh, work? Um, I'm in clinical research. Okay. Yeah. What about you? I am a full time college athlete. Okay. Uh, for what sport? Uh, basketball. So, can you dunk me or no? I can do more than that. <laughs> SpongeBob can't do shit. But I can show you later. Oh, okay. On that note, <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll say something to them. Hello. 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 Um. From handshake. Listen. Do you just tell me listen. to listen? I may not be able to give you. I may not be the richest one here, and I may not be the most handsome one here. But listen, I may not be able to take you from the Vava to Cinco Sink then back to the Vava. You know, you know. What? <laughs> but what I can do is make sure to be a chicken noodle soup when you're sick. And make sure I just cry right now. I wanna make I wanna make sure to pick you up when you fall. I feel like I'm on monkey or something. And I wanna I'm make sure you stream the three people. Of yourself. Um, is there a Medicare? Cause this guy <laughs> needs to be charged if he's having a stroke. Are you okay? Yeah, alright, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold 
on. Actually, like, yo, I have, a, I have, like, a in and out gift card if you want to go, yeah. I'll buy you whatever. Yeah, I got, like, multiple meals on there. If you want to go to In-N-Out or, like, Shake Shack, we could go. Whatever. You haven't asked me one question about myself. <laughs> All right, listen. But you've what told you me like to listen to? four more times. I'll listen to anything you have to say. What do you uh, like to do for fun? Not <laughs> Please help me. <laughs> Let's move on. I'm so sorry. Yeah, so I basically kind of threw in the beginning. I got a little bit nervous when I came in. She was so pretty. I just didn't want to get last, to be honest. Anything but last. Oh, oh my god. Hi. Hi, I'm Tiffany. Tiffany, I'm nice Dave. To meet you. My pronouns are he and him, but I want to be yours. <sighs> I play Valorant, so I've heard that a Wait, lot. Wait, you play Val? <laughs> I do. Will you, will uh, you no carry way. me? I need someone to carry me. Are you immortal? <laughs> no. I'm silver, what rank are you? You're silver? Yeah. I'm flat. God, I used to work for a company called Riot Games. That oh, makes oh, Valorant. really? Yeah. So why did you quit? Uh, to start you got fired. Side. Oh, good yeah. job. Th thanks. What do you do? Oh, I, um, I'm an advisor for a management agency, oh. uh, and I also do content creating. Oh, that's so cool. Yeah. Do you do Valorant content creation? Um, I think my gym stuff does better than like, oh, like or like any like, like yeah. Lifting? Yeah. I, oh. I, I, can I get like a little flex? No. Like a little, like a little bit. <laughs> you can check out my Instagram though and then look. Okay. <laughs> so I can get your IG? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you had to think about it for a yeah, second. Yeah, you can get okay. it. Okay. Thank you. That seems like it went well. Let's move on. I think it would be nerve wracking in the bar regardless. If a girl gives you her Instagram, she doesn't like you. <laughs> I think guys think that's progress. No. She's saying, I don't actually want to talk to you so you can get lost in my DMs I'll never check as a follower because you were so beneath me that I'm fe that feels comfortable. So there's no alcohol, no music, it's all quiet. Everyone is standing there. It's like a dance battle without the dancing. Hi. Hi. What's your name? My name's Kaima. Kaima, yeah. hi, Lee. Hi. Very nice to meet you, my nice dear. Nice to meet you too. Tell me, are you in college, school, or anything? Or I am in school. Cool. Where, where at? I go to RCC. RCC. Yes. No way. You're from Riverside. Yes. I'm from Riverside area. Really? That's completely coincidental, by the way. Wow. Wait. That's cool. Oh, you're being serious. I'm being I didn't serious. think you were being serious. Yeah, no, I'm being, <laughs> oh I'm being for real. <laughs> what are you majoring in? I'm an English major. English. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So you can write like. Thesis statements yep. and okay, yes. cool, nice. Thank you. Anyway, tell me, what's your favorite band? Band? Yeah. I don't think I listen to bands that much. No. Anything? Do you know? Oh. Do you know the? Oh my God! You know, <laughs> I'm, I'm working. I'm working. Do you know the Killers? No. no. You never heard of the Killers? I'm sorry. Coldplay. Yeah. You have to know Coldplay. I do. Okay. I see that's them good. in that's concert good. on my birthday, yeah. Okay. No way. Yeah. I'm going to see them in September. Artist then. Bro has no facial expressions or, or chin. Probably Maggie Lindemann. She's pop Mary punk. Mary Magdalene? Maggie Wait. Lindemann? I haven't heard of her. Pop punk, like alternative. Cool. Nice. Yeah. Was that good? You kind of scared me. I'm not going to lie. But was that W. Riz at least? Um. No. <laughs> you're just scared me. <laughs> <laughs> I love this bar. How's it going? What's up? Hey. <laughs> I'm Cam. Nice to meet you, Cam. I'm Jess. You can call me Nut, though, if you want. <laughs> that wasn't like a weird, that's like my, people call me that. Sometimes. Why? It's like my music name. I do music. So. Do you, do you like squirrels? Do I like squirrels? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Yeah, oh, they're cool. Yeah. Why'd you ask me that? Because <laughs> Can I get you a drink? Because we're at the bar. Um, no, I'm okay. I didn't even want to get you one. <laughs> so cool. I, I'm kind of flushed for cash right now. Oh, no. Uh, yeah. The nut music isn't working it's out. It's not, surprisingly, not going that great. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, who would have thought? So, like, what's up? Do you do any impressions? <laughs> do you? I have one. Can I see it? It's Obama. Let's hear it. Michelle! <laughs> Thank you. Mm, it's really good. Does that change? <laughs> <laughs> um, no. But maybe you could start doing impressions. More impressions? Yeah, you should practice. I only have the one. <laughs> 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 
That's it? I have more riz. <laughs> Thank you so much. You're still yeah. What was the longest relationship you guys had? Three years. Speak of, no, okay. Three years? Yeah. I've actually <laughs> never been in a relationship. Okay. Never had a girlfriend. Eight years. Eight? Yep. That's okay. His wife. That's what we have to clear up. As you just saw, women said funny, and then a guy was funny, and she laughed, and she still didn't like him. What we mean is the experience of talking to a guy we don't like can be more tolerable and make us feel like we want to die less if we get to laugh at him. No. Go yeah. find her. That's the distinction. I used to be married. I used to be married. I'm a divorcee. Yeah. So thanks for... I'll carry you. I'll carry you. I'll carry you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Four years. Five and a half years. Two. Two and a half. What's your biggest red flag in women? If your music taste isn't there, it's not gonna work, you know? <laughs> hey, nothing against you, my dude. My red flag would be like being unable to articulate or communicate her feelings. If the girl is not down to have fun, like let's say you're singing in a car and she's like, stop, like that's weird, or like people are watching. Mine's probably laziness, because I like to be active and go out and do stuff. I mean, I get staying in watching Netflix or whatever, but like, I like to go out and do stuff. I think mine would have to be energy levels in terms of like, if they can match you or not. Uh, and that's not always like 24 hours, but if they just can't ever hit that level of just matching your vibe, then it's not there. What's your number one red flag of yourself? <laughs> that's actually lift too much weights. <laughs> I love too hard and care too much. Mm, so tough. Whoa. I troll like un insanely like a lot, so I don't know if y'all would be able to what tolerate that. What do you mean by that. troll? Like just like, mess with you. Because I'm thinking internet like, troll, and I'm yeah. like, yeah. Like if I find something that you don't like, I will like immediately. Uh, why? Just to troll, just to make you mad, but playfully, not anything. Well, maybe a little just bit just to like push your buttons, but just a little giggle. I'm always late, like everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, straight up. I was told that I care too much. Like I care a lot for a person when I am attracted to them. That's a green flag. That's a LinkedIn answer. That's like a yellow answer. I'll give another one. I dance too much. I dance everywhere I go. Mine, I don't know, I'm a procrastinator, so like, I like probably plan something last minute, like a date, or I'll be ready last minute, so we're kind of late. I think mine would have to be, I'm a little stubborn. I learned it from my dad. Sorry, dad. Uh, <laughs> Good answers, guys. Yes. Do, you, do you ladies feel like you have enough information to go off of to make uh -oh. a decision? Uh -oh. I had it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I had it a while ago. <laughs> Babe, I'm sorry. <laughs> like the whole troll thing, like got us a little like questioning, like how much of a troll? You, You're great. You Shake it off. All right. Shake it off. So six. Oh, Jaden. I, mean, I just didn't want to get know. last. <laughs> <laughs> the, the chicken noodle song. I started. I dissociated the whole time you were speaking to me. I was so confused. <laughs> I think you were nervous, and you were a lot sweeter in your answers afterwards. Mm -hmm. But not the chicken noodle part. So. <laughs> yeah, where did you get chicken that? Chicken noodle soup when you're sick. Like, I'm noodle. giving you chicken. You drink that when you, like I make you feel better. Like <laughs> damn. Okay, so next was Logan. Yes. We didn't like your first impression. So I'm telling you, if the girl doesn't find you attractive, nothing you say can help. If it's like a pickup line or whatever, she'll just cringe more. So we thought you were first. playing Mr. Like mean, like cool guy, and also like it's too forced. I, it, it kind of came <laughs> off like maybe you aren't used to having to do the riz. You know, like maybe <laughs> you are used to getting riz. So. No, I, I don't approach people anymore. Mm -hmm. Actually, really? I sit in the corner. It's okay, I do too. I can tell. If you would have started with the second half, I would have been like I I liked you towards the end. I yeah. did. I really did. Four. Four? It was red shirt. <laughs> I respect the singing, but if a guy were to come up to me and start singing, probably not. That's, that's probably confidence. like a, a second yeah, or yeah. third date thing. That's like a fourth date. Yeah. 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 If I Unless he was well, actually I'm good, David. And that's okay. <laughs> it just came out, you know, a little left field. But yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, so in third place we have Dave. Ooh. Dave, we like how like really friendly and open you were. Mm -hmm. Also the fact that like you tolerated someone for eight years, they tolerated you. Yeah. That says a lot. Awesome. Okay. Tolerating me for eight years says a lot, for sure, for sure. I like that you guys give a lot of feedback too. This is a very, very constructive yeah. dynamic. Yeah. Yes. And then second place, we have nut. Yeah. Hell yeah. I have to be. Yeah. We know what that means. That means, Dave, we found you the most conventionally attractive, but you were kind of annoying. But the fact that you've been in a long term relationship tells us maybe it gets better and you get less annoying over time. It was that is what these women were trying to tell him. Unanimous, except for me. She was yeah. not for you. It wasn't. Oh, you were the only one who didn't? Yeah. And you're the one that I talked to? Yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> No, but you're like lighthearted, you're like dorky. Thank yeah. you. Yes. Yeah. We women love dorky. My Let feedback is just pay attention to like like don't talk at someone, like make it maybe a little more personal. Mm -hmm. What do you think got you to the top? Uh training, hard work, dedication. We did practice riz on each other in the back, and I, I riz in the bathroom before and also. <laughs> and our Rizzler is yes. You just like maintained eye contact and you actually like cared about the other person. You weren't just like trying to swoop in and just get to the point. You were like, right. let me learn more about you. And that's something I feel like a lot of men lack. It's just like, I just want my one and done. Yeah. I want to feel powerful for this one second. But it seems like you're a genuine person. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, but you all did so good. Yeah. Well, this was humbling, but just Continue to be yourself. This is what I tell you guys. Dress nice-ish, you know? He's got a polo, pants that aren't sagging to the ground, nice clean white shoes, some accessories, fresh cut, and just treat her like a normal person and be polite. <laughs> That's weird. Women all respond to that well. Well, this was humbling, but just continue to be yourself. And look, the height. He's like the shortest one. I'm telling you, the height doesn't really matter if your presentation is well. Yes. Wait a minute, second show. This is the other guy's cheating with his hair. It's not, if you present yourself well, the height doesn't really matter. Well, this was humbling, but just continue to be yourself. Everyone has their own opinion. I respect that, but uh, I don't know. I'll work on it. Lee said that he was a troll. There are troll girls out there that he'll find like a shorty, like, you know, and they'll like troll together. Be yourself, be genuine. Yeah, she'll be trolling him because she has a penis. Play to your strengths. Just be like Errol. He's the Riz master. Oh, Errol, what a baddie. I could not do what they just did today. That is terrifying. Just being in front of someone and just giving it your all, like seriously, like all of them. I was, it was impressive. Uh, subscribe to the channel. <laughs> Michelle. Perfect. Okay. Hi. Guys. Hi. Oh, hey. Hey. What's up? <laughs> What's up? Um, so in case you forgot, my name's Jess, but you can call me mommy. <laughs> what? I'm a very polar person, so oh, I don't no. think I should be- The girls are trying to riz them up as if they're simps in Instagram DMs. In the front, because I'm more polarizing. But I feel like when you have a huge personality, you're more gravitating. But it can be scary too. You know what though? You give like a very like sensual, sweet music yes. video girl vibe. Like I swear, dudes yeah. love watching music videos. So like they're like, oh my god, the girl of my dreams. I think you should be first. Yes. Yeah. I think you should be first. Me? Yes. Yeah. Wait, you. what? I thought we were talking about that. <laughs> Wait, guys, guys, we don't have to finalize it now. Let's just start moving we'll people. Let's we'll yeah. start tossing around. We'll you're start tossing not around. last. Well, you are not last. I'll tell you right now. You, you were last. doing Naruto runs around yes. the room. No. I'm like, uh, okay. Well, yeah. this is hard because you're really funny. What's up with fat bitches and crap yes, I don't really understand. You're gravitating too. I don't get it. No, yeah. Is girl. that toxic? Yeah. But like, yeah. honestly, like, why is it that like the girls who like aren't I don't know. I just. You want to show it off? Go to the gym. I don't know. It's just it doesn't make any sense. I don't. Oh, I don't yes. get it. Just for the record. Body confidence. I don't think it's body confidence. I think it's delusion. 
They think that like it's a good look, and it's not. It's, they have other flattering things that can be cute. I don't. Jordan, I don't think I have. This. I don't get it. I would not have ranked myself where I was at. But it's I, like when I go to the Rin Fest and the fat girls are wearing nothing but like a corset and they got back cleavage because the rolls are getting smashed together. I'm like. You have to think from a, if we can, the most we can think from a guy's perspective. Shy. Who's the most approachable? Like put a therapy. shirt on and it's a corset. <laughs> if I like a guy, I'm avoiding eye contact. No, literally. Right? It's like, literally. It's like, if I don't, I don't find a dude attractive, I can go up to him and be like, hey, like, what's your name? Ew, but the, me really the moment I find a guy attractive, I'm like, oh my God. Like, so like no eye contact risk. You can love your body. I don't know. I just, I just feel like it's, it's not the most flattering. You know, it's not like you can't show it off. It's like it's like it's not it doesn't it doesn't flatter her figure at all. And like I don't think like a lot of these girls' outfits flatter, but it's just like I notice this being a trend where it's like they're like mm, I'm aware. It's like they're trying to be empowered. It's it feels like almost like fake body positivity where they're like I'm gonna wear this because I'm empowered. It's like. Okay, but you can be empowered and still have good taste in clothes. I don't know. I just, I don't... Because I get nervous, you know what I mean? Literally. This is my approach. If I'm in a bar... Okay. It's like compensating, guys. Okay. I just thought you were really handsome and I introduced myself. That's the... Oh, yeah, you need to stay for you. Okay. Okay. Just stay there. Yeah, yeah, right. All right, you stay there. Yeah. Number two is two. Number two is definitely locked I don't think... Yeah. I don't go to a guy and be like... Like, just because oh, you don't wear a crop top because you're fat doesn't mean that, like, you're not proud of your body or empowered. It doesn't mean you have to hide your body. Just knowing what looks good on you. I don't know. You're handsome. I'll try to I don't get, get it. to know your psyche. <laughs> like, get you to open up. Oh, like, next thing you know, she pulls out the tarot cards. All right, I'm going to do a tarot no. card reading. And then <laughs> see if you're going to crack. I do the psychological game. I think we're good. Here. Okay, we're locked. Okay. How's everyone feeling? No nerves. Yeah. No nerves? Because yeah. we're getting rizzed. Yeah. It's up to them. Bit. I've never been nervous before in my entire life. That's good. Have you guys ever been rizzed by a girl? No. No. Not no. really. Mm -hmm. No. They looked, look, yeah, they, they looked at us. They looked at us. It's like the little a little side eye. Like they walk, they look at you, and they keep walking. Yeah. Girls, this is up girls, to you. Girls don't have Rizzo. I've never like. Maybe they have their friend here. come up or something, but you know they're not. They doing they they, 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 they got the little brushes. They do like some of this. That's <laughs> that's about it. That's that's girl that's Riz, I think. Is there something they could do that would be an immediate? No, I don't think everyone should look like me at all. I'm not saying they need to lose yeah, weight. Yeah. I'm just saying, wear something that's flattering. Jeez. It's okay to like your body. I just feel like we should we should understand what suits our body when we wear clothing. I don't know. Like, There's so many clothes I try on, and I'm like, this isn't flattering. Oh, it's, too just, hard. it's more like, like too of much. a self-awareness thing. How many girls do you approach thing. them? Yeah, yeah it's yeah, like, like, that, yeah. why, like if they come come at me twerking, I'm like, well, hey, hold on. Twerking. 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 That would be cool. I, I think that would be cool. I know, I was about to say, they come at me twerking. I, don't know. I would be okay That's with That's cool, that. I'll take it. I don't know. I, I think if I, they just talk to me, and there are like a few things that I don't, like, like interests and stuff. If they start talking about like NFTs, or I'd be like, what are you talking about? So Errol and Nut, you guys were both on the Dress episode last. No, it's not knowing your place. It's knowing what fits your How body. Are you feeling? Being on the opposite end. I'm excited. Well, not really good, knowing what looks good on you. Really it's not a place it's thing. Not, we're getting yeah. I feel like it's I'm, not like you're lesser in the, as a human because you put on a full shirt. I don't. <laughs> it's like a spa day. Yeah, we're just chilling right just now. Like, Watching the first episode of like, guy. it's like a guy wearing sagging pants. It's like you could have you could have put a belt on those. You could have just put on pants that fit. There's in girls. I was like, I hope girls are not like that because some you know guys be saying some weird stuff sometimes. I mean, I'll be able to take you from the va va to sink on sink then back to the va va. If you know, you know. Ruth. How's it going? Hi, I'm Amara. Hi, I'm Errol. Nice, nice to meet meeting you. you. Were you nervous? For her. <laughs> Where are you from, may I ask? Uh, originally from Philadelphia, but uh, nice. I kind of grew up all over. Yeah. You? Um, I'm from Chino Hills. Really? Okay. Um, yeah. Can I just say your eyes are so pretty? Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, they're like it. literally Thank shining. You. And I'm so sorry I keep on looking at your hands. They kind of yeah. look heavy. Yeah. yeah, would you like me to hold them for you? Oh, I like her. Right? So with like that her. being said, I like her, right? yeah. What are we doing after this? We're gonna go eat. We can, we can eat. Have you we watched can. La La Land before? I haven't. Ooh, we neither have I. Tonight. But we, watch it we could go. The fact that the, she could say anything, he just finds her attractive. Like she could, she could literally be like, 
so you want to go back to my place and fuck? And he'd be like, yeah, baby. Or she could be like, hey, how you doing? And he'd be like, hey, how you doing? To like the observatory, she doesn't have to try. A woman with plans are like that, okay. I like her. Yeah, it's really clear. I like her. Yeah, it's really clear. I like her. I'm literally shaking. The the delivery almost rizzed through him and to us. Hey, how you doing? Okay, okay. Yeah, oh, I feel like someone's body okay. game. I don't know. How are you doing? No, you're so sweet. It's just been going up constantly. I'm doing good. You look good, though. You look good, too. Thank you. I like the blue. What's up? You smell good, too. I smell good, smell. Yeah. You do smell really good. Let me good. smell you now. All right, go for it. Oh, oh, oh okay. You smell good, too. Thank you, Garrett. Okay. So what do you like to do? I like to. I'm an MMA fighter. Oh, okay. So I have to train a lot, so I'm okay. training every day. So you know I can protect you. I'm down for it. Erica and Garrett were getting it on. It was I'm actually not the getting one hot. Doing I was like, oh it, my bro. gosh, the way she like did a little spin and he was smelling her. It was a lot. What do you like to do? I like to watch anime and I cosplay. So anime? Yeah. Cos I like what do you cosplay? So I just dress up as like any little anime character. Can I make a couple of special requests? Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm out to get you some requests okay, later. Okay, I'll definitely dress up for you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Nice. Give me a this has yeah. happened before to me I and Gertie. I feel taken care of with you. I feel taken care of To try of and like no, get us in like trouble or something. <laughs> Hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, we're safe for the hug. Okay. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What's your name? My name's Ivan. And your I name is Mai? Mai. Okay. Yeah. Are you from LA? I'm like, I say I'm from LA because mm. it's easier, but I'm from like out east. Oh, really? I'm from out east where like people don't really know like the cities. Where's out like. east? I live in Chino Hills. Oh, okay. There we go. Chino Hills, you know That's better. No, I'm Canadian. So oh, I'm like, okay. Chino Hills, I just flew in yesterday. Oh. Yeah, just for this. So you're not from here then? No. Damn. And she said long distance off the Maybe bat. Maybe you're just the lucky <laughs> one. Actually, I live in New York though, so. Damn, I was in New York last year. Really? Why did you hit me up? I didn't know I you yet. I swear I DM'd you last year. Oh, did you? You didn't know? see it? Mm -mm. Maybe you should DM me again. Mm. Are you doing anything after this? Um, actually not. I might need a tour guide. Wouldn't want to get lost, you know? Okay. <laughs> She's good. Okay, she yeah. is good. Damn. Can I get your number? Absolutely. I mean, if I have my phone. Imaginary phone. <laughs> Imaginary phone, okay. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to get back to my girls, but I'll text you. That's a dog. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good, Jimmy. I'm Aurora. Nice, nice to, to meet, meet you. you. Are you from the area? Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm from Redlands. Like those you shoes. What are these shoes? And these socks? <sighs> what are those? See, it's not about being fat or, or skinny. It's about like literally like awareness. And I had this problem when I was young and immature. And I thought like, oh, I need to wear edgy shit for the sake of being edgy to be like not like everyone else. And then I, I got out of high school and I realized I just look like a clown. No, what do you, what do you like to drink? What do you get to drink? <laughs> What are, uh, what do I get to drink? I what? get to drink like, mojitos. Mojito? Yeah. Stop, because... That's your favorite? Oh. We might be sweatmates. Oh. That is my favorite. I always go for mojito. Okay. Yeah. I feel like people who go for a mojito are like... They oh, like the... What they am like, I giving? What, what is, it's like rare. It's like you like you like the spice of life. Like You like things that might be a little bit more out of pocket, eccentric. Out of pocket? So maybe you're spontaneous. <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, yeah. All the above. Spontaneous? Super. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We could just get line, line them up with mojitos back to back. Both. Let's see, let's see who gets drunk faster. Down? Yes. Okay. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm doing the rip. No, you're. I know. I'm you like, should, okay. Should, what are we? Keep, I'm trying to get to know yeah, you right now. Yeah, you should keep. You should keep going. Yeah. No. I um. I love mojitos. What else do you like to drink? Um. Orange juice. Are you, okay. Like uh, like Sunday so morning. So you were doing this over. when when you said that you're from here. So are you like? Uh, no, I'm from New York originally. Oh, you're from New York. Yeah, yeah. I've been wanting to visit there. Okay. So. Yeah. Have you ever been to Brooklyn? Brooklyn, Manhattan, okay. all, all the all the boroughs. Yes, yeah, so you're gonna take me around. So do you travel a lot or? Uh yeah yeah, yeah I travel a lot. Yeah, this I, is I not. Got my, uh, Amex card. Ooh. I got a lot of points, okay. But, uh, yes. Done. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, that was done. Oh, that was so good. Yes. 
and no. nut. Let's go. <laughs> Redemption arc. So we're supposed to be at a bar again? We're at a bar again. Okay. <laughs> I'm the clammiest hand right now. <laughs> Hi. Oh, hey. What's hey. Up? <laughs> What's up? Um, so in case you forgot, my name's Jess, but you can call me mommy. I'm not no, I'm not gonna call you. <laughs> Why would it's I okay. Do that? I just got I just gave myself the egg too. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Glad we're on the same page. <laughs> we are. Cool. What's up? How's it going? Good, how are you doing? I'm doing great. <laughs> um <laughs> Did you have a bad day? <laughs> no, I've been having a good day, actually. And so um, you got here. One of the better days. <laughs> so. Do you like bad girls? Do I like bad girls? <laughs> I'm like bad in at like everything. a what kind of way? Like um, a detention? No, <laughs> I got a, a ticket once because I was I, I was playing Pokemon Go. Well, that's in the car <laughs> while you were driving. No, I wasn't driving. How do you get a ticket when you're not driving? Well, I pulled over to catch a charge. So you were in your car driving? <laughs> yeah, but okay. it wasn't on the gas. Okay, well, you were still driving. <laughs> but it was really naughty, and then I also had tinted windows, so it was like double back. So it was so. dangerous, which is all around. That's, uh, also, though, unrelated, I also just got a car ticket. Is that why you're grumpy? $70. I'm not grumpy. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm actually feeling really good. It was like flirting with a soggy towel. Even, like, even being salty with him, I still set him up for jokes. And I was like, you're giving me nothing. So my love language is gift giving. I and like receiving things. Did I you bring me gifts, this actually? this in case you rizzed in the bathroom before you were coming out here. OK, so <laughs> thank you. I'm going to bring I'm going to give it back to you. You that don't like funny. my gift? The tissue? No, but I thought it was funny. Maybe next time I see you, now that I know you a little Oof. better, I can yeah. bring you a better gift. For sure. Thank you very much. Okay. I thought that was fun. You're mean. I'm mean. No, I'm not. I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't think I was being mean. My bad. I forgive you. I thought we were having fun. I don't mind if I do. Hi. My name's Hi. Jazz. Jimmy. Nice I to meet you. I thought I would just come and introduce myself. I thought you were super handsome. I know you're with your boys, so oh, yeah, yeah. you know oh, I don't want to interrupt whatever you guys yeah, are celebrating here. They're creeping right here. now. Looking, at, looking, <laughs> over, lo looking over us. But um, I thought I would come and introduce myself and let you know I exist. And... Oh, I, I'm so the difference was this. Nut was self-deprecating humor, and this girl like was insulting. <laughs> right in front <laughs> of me. It was a joke. Right, right the in front joke of me. Uh, what are you guys celebrating tonight? Uh, it, it's my, it's my boy, uh, it's Hanukkah. Hanukkah. It's my boy's okay. Hanukkah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just, uh, we don't, we don't typically go out on Hanukkah, but uh -huh. yeah, yeah, it's, no, it's tradition, actually, right? Yes. I just don't get invited. Eighth but, day. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Uh, Eighth day. Anyways, um, I would like to take you out sometime. Okay. Show you how I roll, okay. you know, well, how I do things. How, how do you roll? What do you roll to? You have to come and find out. Oh, all right. Let's go find out. See. Okay, so so let me find out then. Hold on. Yeah, 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 put my number down so I can find out. <laughs> yeah, take my number down so I can find out. Yeah. What do you want me to say my name as? Huh? What do you I want me to say my name as? Just take a picture and I'll remember it. I'm going to put my name as Baby. Baby, Baby. We're getting into it. Baby, Baby. I got his Instagram, so I don't know. He was nice. Think something's going to happen there? I don't no. know. I guess I'll have to find out. Don't go give that to your boys and stuff. No, no, no. This is just for me. You won't call me? Huh? You won't call oh, me? Oh, absolutely. All right. right after the show. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the, the, the YouTuber, was it? Oh, the Canadian? My, 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 my. Yes. It was chill. I it was kind of like normal, right? It was, it was like chill. It wasn't awkward. I still feel like his girl was first. She was pretty first. good. She smelled she good. good. Yeah. She looked good. I will be fully transparent. I thought everyone was like good, and I don't know how I would distinguish any of them. Or I was just distracted. I'm very easily distracted. I saw like a fly, and then I was looking at the fly for a second, and someone was talking. I don't even remember who was talking. Jazz was, was like, like right. well, she was kind of too, she was kind of too like independent. I don't like yeah, it. You know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, I don't really like it. I'm thinking if that happened to me in public, 
and she came up to me with a napkin and was like, because you jack off too much in public. I would be like, oh, maybe not. Because I didn't get the reference. Yeah, little, I didn't yeah, get the yeah, reference. Yeah, so yeah, me, cousin, me, were like, what yeah, in the last video, I was like, I rizzed in the bathroom before. It. And I, I rizzed in the bathroom before and also. And so then this time she it's took a, a tissue. It was a good call. It was funny. It was, it was, it was no, I understand the callback. I liked it. But it also, she's, but she's context, cheating though. That's in the context of it happening in a bar, it implies that I was like masturbating in public. Right. Which I don't think you weren't. No, well, I, I know I was not no, it. No, I'm just saying if a girl came wouldn't. up to me and was like, do you need some sure. tissues? Yeah, I'd be like, I'm yeah. kind of sure right here. Okay, <laughs> we got it. Yeah. We good. Okay. Okay. We're right. great. Let's do it. Cool. Tell, no, do it again. Okay, there is something, <laughs> there is something right. behind the camera with no, the weapon. From, no. <laughs> I woke up this morning with a blindfold. Oh I don't know God. where I am. I'm they locked you, in this room. Okay. Give us compliments and, saying, and watch yeah, our video. They're saying, you have to promote our videos right now. That have not eaten in four days. I was locked in a closet. I got last place. Yeah, well, here, th this is the, no, this is the explanation. Wait, wait, wait. It was, okay, so it was, uh, we love the confidence. It was great, but it was just kind of like. Overbearing. Yeah, it was a lot. You know, it was just. Okay. Yeah. It was a little strong. Okay. Yeah, that's The confidence? Okay. What confidence? I be in the middle, you know, somewhere, somewhere cute in the middle. I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to be the top. It was I didn't just think I was boring. Be the best. Next, who's next? I think it was just it was oh yeah. it was napkin girl. Yeah. 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 He almost said jizz napkin girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, zero percent okay. shocked. I thought I'd be last. No, but you gotta understand, like me and we didn't really like Let get the reference. I like the napkin thing. I thought that was. Here's cool. the thing. I think you're great. I'm I've appreciated our relationship together. <laughs> uh, so I was I was thinking about it as if like we're in a bar. If some if a girl came up to me and was like, "Do you need a napkin for your jizz in the from the bathroom?" I would be like, "First of all, I no, said riz." I was yeah. like, "I'm not it's a good. predator." Okay. <laughs> all right. Um. Who's next? Who's next? Jazz. 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 You're you're next. Jazz. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fourth place. I mean, it was cool, you know, to like take, say, you're gonna take him out on a date, you know. Yeah, we did like that. I like yeah. that. That was pretty. I like that, you know. Many you different. Did too. You, take you, us, did you wanted to take us out, you know. The, the, the recognizing the boys too. Of course. Right? It's it's a night out, you know. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, that's real. You think <laughs> third was a third was mine. Third was mine. Yeah, my yeah. My, yeah. Maya, you did great. You did great, Maya. It's just that's why you, you did, did great. Third. Calm. It was cool. It was good. You played, you played the bar scene good. Yeah, you like you were like in the role, you know. I believe. And you asked for the phone. I'm not even like legal to go out, guys. So that was real improv, okay? <laughs> you never go to guys. I don't go to the bar. I can't get in. <laughs> Second. Then you guys just swap places. Yeah. 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 One, two, yes. You both yeah. did great. Wow. Erica, you did great. You smelled wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> made me feel real good inside. Hey, you made me feel good. Nah, we did like that. Yeah. <laughs> no, we, we liked it. We liked yeah. it. Erica took good care of me. Good. She smelled good. She looked good. She did a little 360 around me. That caught me off guard, but I liked it. I love Gary. Gary smells actually like really nice. You guys are. Yeah. It was like it was one, one A and one, a, one B. B. <laughs> <laughs> Odd, first to be honest. Y'all yeah. Yeah. were both, you know what I'm saying? Y'all were both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just happy that I didn't get last because my little brother grilled me. He said if I got last, he would disown me as a sister. I don't know. She, she, just, she just killed yeah, it. She, yeah, killed number it. one killed it. Yeah. She killed it. It was all natural, definitely confident. Uh, yeah. Ariel started falling a little bit. You know? Yeah, I know. I was like, oh, <laughs> you got it. Yeah. You got it. Oh, yeah. She, she, she went plans. first. I know, she right? She went first, and we're all like, oh. Yeah, Ariel, would you have uh, grabbed her number if you. Oh, no, of course, yeah. I'm grabbing it after. Oh, Y'all still like the, the best six out of like 100 women, though. You know what I mean? Aww. Yeah, Y'all were all dope. Y'all were all dope. Yeah, you guys were We were forced to like. None of you guys were awkward. None of you guys were weird. I expected like a lot less. Y'all came in with the hit. I know. I'm not going to lie. Because most girls wouldn't even try to riz. Yeah, Y'all came in with the If a girl wants to try to risk not, do you have any advice for them? Uh, just be like normal. I don't know. Just come up and be like, hey. And I'd be like, what's up? Hey, hey, hey. You have to guess what my favorite number is first. Your favorite number? Yeah. Seven. The gym teams are making so much money. You give, me, you give me so like bougie good. looks. I will like, put you in the front. I agree, actually. Yeah. 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 I'm gonna shoot down like this.
perfect spot. I disagree. I personally believe you probably make $1 billion dollars. <laughs> I agree. I was gonna say the same thing. He gets me ga maybe gamer. Yeah, let's. I'm gonna put him in the. You middle. You can't have the OF He's girl with there, Renato. So I feel like your shoes. Rhea are kind of expensive. I can't tell if it's like a knockoff, but quality platforms are usually like Plus the all black. 200 the all to black. $300. You give me like, um, you have like a million followers on Instagram and you do like model shoots every single day, for like fashion shoots. So. <laughs> I want to put her in the middle. What's your name over there? Grace. I don't know, you give me like the vibe that you have, you make a lot of money like selling cookies with your <laughs> nice, or like sweaters on Etsy or like something. Sweet, very sweet. Yeah, yeah very like sweet. Wise. And you have a fun TikTok, TikTok. So I think you are like over here, over here, yeah. I like this. I kind of like it. I'm cool with this too. You think this makes sense? Mm, I'm gonna disagree. I think Rhea should be one more ahead. Okay. I would put Josh no. like, Further in front of me, like, maybe. Yeah, maybe between you two. Yeah, I agree. I would be good right here. Josh, no, no, Josh, come no, on, Josh. Come Josh, where's your sweater from? H and M. H and M. Okay. Um, so H and M's like a classic though. Like I know a lot of guys who wear like only H and M, but they make good money. Well, it's because like a lot of girls wear Fashion Nova, but they're wearing like a thousand dollars shoes. Yeah. Yeah. True. So I don't hate this lineup. Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, I kind of think it's. You think this is the lineup? Okay. Make TikTok videos about like tech reviews and tech stuff. Oh, that's money. I run no, it's a couple not. businesses from it. What kind of tech businesses? Like can laptops, computers? Like type on keyboards, I make like custom ones. Um, and I also now am getting into like clothes, so I designed this hoodie. I feel like you're great with money, so mm -hmm. even if you maybe technically didn't like bring in as much as some other of us a couple years ago, you maybe have grown it more because you're probably very smart. I'm sure you're investing. I feel like you absolutely I think need to go higher up. up. How many TikTok accounts do you have? Three that have done well. You should second take my tech. spot. I'm I would just scary over here. Third. Yeah, I would, I would put you like second. Let's do second. Tech is a lot of money. Plus you have all those other income streams on top of it. Yeah. Too. So I teach people how to be content creators, but I'm also a Twitch streamer. Do you sell a course? I was just about to ask. Ah, I don't sell a course because I believe in like making education free for people. So I don't like paywalling info. How do you make your income um, without the ads? So I get $2.50 for every sub that I get. That's like one way that I make my money and TikTok sponsorships yeah. mainly. And I also have like Instagram and YouTube and stuff, but they're like really small. And those are two pretty lucrative platforms, but also you have a lot of morals, which makes me think you don't make as much money. Yeah. You haven't sold your soul. Yeah. yeah, I mean, with the LA rent rising though. I still yeah. don't think you should be last though. Like, I don't feel like she should move until we hear a couple more. Yeah, yeah, I would keep myself down I was here. Gonna be like, put your hair. Uh, so I do a few different things. Uh, um, my big one is I am a sex educator, so I host a podcast. We just launched the third season, so I've been doing that since 2019. Uh, and I do sex education content on my Instagram as well as on my TikTok. And then I also upload all the podcast episodes to my YouTube channel. Ooh, I YouTube do that. Angie's been doing it for three years. Silly. But my, my one caveat is sex education, which in terms of making money through sponsorships, not many companies would want to unfortunately work with a sex educator, even though I think it's like a cool And thing. it's harder to get ad revenue because yeah. um, I'm constantly, you know, working Shadowing. through bands mm -hmm. and things like that. How are you making most of your money though? Through all of those, as well as OnlyFans. Ooh, of but course. OnlyFans makes money. Yeah, you can mm. think. OnlyFans has such an uncapped potential, I would put you up here. Third? Third? Like, top three for yeah. sure. Okay. All right, so uh, I make like content just around like money and I try and teach Gen Z uh, good like money habits with short little funny videos. Finance uh, makes so much money because not yeah. only do they push it, but you also get so many sponsorships, especially from YouTube. Are you on YouTube or are you on primarily TikTok? It, it goes like in this order, TikTok, Instagram, YouTube stuff. I feel like those videos also, especially in the way you do them with comedy are super shareable. Like those are the kind of TikToks that end up on Reels, they end up on Facebook. I would put you up because of finance. Yeah. Finance is such a lucrative niche. I'm okay with it. So. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Okay, I am a TikToker. I knew it. <laughs> I knew I could tell. Uh, I do like, mostly fashion stuff, like secondhand fashion, vintage stuff, and lifestyle. What do you sell? Uh, I don't really anymore. I started like my TikTok promoting my online vintage shop, and that's how I became a TikToker. And now I just like do fashion stuff. Do you do it full time? Yeah. So your revenue comes from sponsors. Yeah, it's like all social media now. I don't know. Fashion makes like no money unless you're a thin white woman. So, 
So she's a thin white woman, so. Being plus size in the social media industry is definitely been hard. There's visibly fat plus size people, and then there's people with the quintessential perfect curves. Like almost, unfortunately, how plus size are you? If you do lifestyle, but you're a small creator, you get nothing. Like they yeah, literally yeah. only gifting campaigns, and then like even then they gaslight you into feeling like you should be grateful for it. Yeah, absolutely. But given, I'm guessing you sound like you're a very large creator, and then like I feel like I've seen your videos on my pre page. I would maybe put you first. Oh, don't do that. Yeah. I'm also. This is like my first year doing this. Yeah, I say I say anyone's right here. I don't me. think I make more than you. We, we still have time to switch. So. Let's try. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so I um, am a plus size supermodel, so everything I do is pretty much lifestyle around that. And it's been my full-time job for about four years now. I have my own cannabis and sexual wellness podcast, so I do that separately. I also have my own consultation and coaching business where I teach aspiring plus size models. So I have an online course that's- Didn't you just say there's no money quarterly. in fashion? And then I also have a blog separately that I post on one to at least once a week and the ad marketing is just starting on my blog so it's not too far in there but I'm very familiar with ad marketing and revenue. Just have a, a lot. I will put now. you first. Absolutely. Like just, yeah. Yeah. You have Absolutely. so many streams of income. So many streams I don't of income. Yeah. Doesn't mean they're successful. You just seem very, very knowledgeable. And what about you, Kazumi? I do OnlyFans. Mm -hmm. I also do YouTube. I also do Instagram. Um, my main stream of income though is TikTok. Not specifically from ad revenue but I make like seven to ten TikToks and I just like pump out as many reels of me as I a can. A day? Yes. With, wow. different, with different captions and I just lead it back to my OnlyFans. But I do, I make a lot of memes. That's like my kind of like niche. I make porn Do you have memes. a billboard in WeHo? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do have a billboard in WeHo. I saw okay. that. Yeah. Do you take sponsorships? No, I'm a sex worker. So they don't, sponsors don't want me or my face to represent their brand. The only reason I get away with that is because I also am a sex educator. So, yeah. But it's it, I completely understand the second they hear that you have any sort of like OnlyFans or sex work. Yeah, and I've gotten deleted like seven times. Yes. Where do you rank? Like, what's your percentage on OnlyFans? I'm 0.01%. Okay, number one. switch. Absolutely. How many guys have you been with? Um, I used to do parties and I would get for like 50 dudes a night. Okay, so you're on No Jumper. Yeah. That's the kind of video that goes viral. I mean, there's, yeah. there's no doubt about it. That video has millions of views. So my photo is a photo of me in Vogue. Um, <gasps> so I'm- It's a beautiful photo. My butt's in Vogue. Does Vogue pay a lot? It's almost kind of like like being a Playboy centerfold in a sense of like it's an honor. Okay. Congrats on your new You're baby. a supermodel and the only claim to fame you have is your hair in your butt. They didn't want your face or your tummy or your okay. I don't know if that's a flex. That would be kind of embarrassing. To complete transactions. I would be like, that's kind of what? shitty. The Fuck average that. cost of childbirth and pregnancy <laughs> care in the U.S. is six thousand nine hundred forty dollars with health insurance, or thirteen thousand dollars without, and it can vary wildly. I changed my mind. What's your return policy like? <laughs> this is my dad, and this is his at-home work setup. He hates it. So today, I'm gonna try to fix it. I'm gonna first add a custom keyboard I built for him and a mouse. And then we're gonna go ahead and give him the FOPO triple monitor She's laptop adapter. adapter. This is gonna turn a single oh. laptop screen into a triple monitor I like adapter. I do a lot of get ready with things. Instagram picture. And I wanna stay on this letter. So this is where we're at. I kind of think that these bell bottoms Love those pants. Cool with this. And it kind of matches and it would edge up the sweater a little bit and make it a little more me. Wait, here they are. As you can see, oh, I need so to be a little cute. bit taller for these. And I think it would be a crime not to wear these. <gasps> Wait, I love the fit. Yeah. That's pretty much what I Oh my do. god, Got that's it. so cute. Thanks. Our noses smushed up against our kissing partner's face is actually opening up our nostrils and making their pheromones more obvious to us. And whether you realize it or not, your body will actually react to that person's pheromones and can make you more attracted to them if your body thinks they're a good biological match. I would kiss you. That's woke. <laughs> Best websites for Twitch streamers. That's Twitch Tracker is a website science. that tracks your stream data. It'll show you the max viewers, follower gains, and the amount of hours you stream per stream. They also have a very nice graph showing your average viewer count and the amount you streamed. And cool stats Kill like me. average viewer count per date. Yeah, so I'm that's like driving. similar to the type of Things content I, I do. Know. Oh. I feel like I should go down on the tech men. I feel the like tech men should I want to up. put, I think your name is Teddy, right? Yes. You second, because I saw that, I saw that ad. Tech pays well, that ad was really well edited. I'm pretty sure companies will see that and be like, I want, I want to go and sponsor him again. Well, I'll put you second. I'll right put now. you second. Yeah. Key. 
Thank you. I'm okay where I'm at. Um. feel like numbers, like the follower count matters? No. Oh, hell no. Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. One thing I'd like to say is like quality, de depending what industry you're in, because I have a friend who has quadruple the following I do and 10 times the engagement, and I make three times as much as she does because of the quality and I sell usage rights so people can use it as ads. Yeah, yeah I think, yeah, I think, that's I think, a lot. Yeah, I would do second. Yeah, me yeah. Yeah. How many hours do you guys work? I work every day. A lot. Yeah. Like this week I worked like four 18 hour days. At minimum, there's no day where I'm working, le like almost every single day where I'm working less than five hours, at, at least. I'm not trying to diminish what they were saying. Like it is hard work and like when she was talking about like, oh like work doesn't end, but like it's like it does. You can go get a movie and like sit in your bed and scroll emails. <laughs> it's not the same as like being expected to be somewhere and like be a slave all day and be off your phone. Like you're not a person when you're at work, but like you're a person when you're doing this job. It's hard to, when you do you a job like this, be because at first I was like, oh, I don't actually, you know, work that many hours, but then you, it's like the second I wake up, I'm checking and I'm deciding what I'm gonna yeah, do that day. It's and the second like I actually work all the day. Yeah. yeah. It's like how do you decipher what's yeah, working what's Yeah, so it's not. hard when you're not doing it, like I'm maybe not working four hours straight because I'll stop and I, I have the privilege of being able to grab lunch with friends or shop in the middle of the day or like do whatever I do, but that doesn't mean I'm not constantly, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. working in some capacity. And then like so weekends don't know. exist. Right, exactly, yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's really no days off. How was your come up? Because I started with gaming content and then I transitioned into education. I did too. Like when, oh my God, love gaming. But um, like, especially as like a female gamer who was trying to do content, I got memed on so much. Everyone's like, oh my God, you're such an e-girl. Like, yeah, a, like ABG, e-girl e -girl aesthetic. Haha, you suck at the game we anyways. Love and now it's in. Dude, and now I, it's like I know, aesthetic. and now it's cool, right? What year were you doing that? I was doing it in like 2018, 2019. Okay. I was That's doing it in 2011. Oh. To be a female YouTuber in a male-dominated space in 2011 was traumatizing. Brutal. I have a question for you, Josh. Do you feel like you have to work harder or um, fight for what you're worth as a black man? I don't know if I necessarily have to fight harder, but it is a little bit harder to stand out, like get people to take you seriously. It's actually one of the reasons that uh, I've signed with like a management agency that only represents black creators. Oh, okay. I love that. Yeah, so it just feels like a you know like a small family, Absolutely. and you know I know that they're like out there fighting to they're get like what's best for yeah, them. Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. They've been so helpful because I've run into other black creators that have like my similar following and a similar niche. I mean, they're earning way less, and there's so much more money out there that they're just not getting, mostly because they don't know exactly what they're worth. I don't know. This looks like it makes sense. I feel yeah. like it doesn't. I feel like I need to go yeah, down wanna, one I or two. I want to move down. I feel like with the YouTube AdSense, maybe I would switch this. I think we should, maybe. We should switch. And Josh, you have a manager. I don't. I think you're okay, but I want to. I want to say this though. They do I have. I have a modeling agency, and eighty percent of the work that I get, I get myself. That's fair. It's more about him getting one. I don't feel the need for one because I don't think I'm getting as many maybe as well. Interesting. That's just my take. You have what's, multiple businesses. What's your second biggest channel again? It's for my business and it has 75,000. Now I have employees and I don't really do anything. Oh, so you have employees? I really don't think I should be here. I think he needs you to be second. Oh, His employees. I feel like I just want to move myself in between, in between us. I, I, that makes sense or to me. Or like lower. How do we feel about this? This Yeah, this looks like our final answer. I think okay. we with this. Seven spot, Teddy, at 115K annually. What? What? That was a shocker. No way. Six spot, Haley, 125K annually. Uh, annually? Okay. Six figure club. <laughs> Six spot, Kat, 175K. Fourth spot, Grace, 180K. And the third spot, Josh, 275. I knew you were up here. And in the second spot, Rhea, 300k. And the first spot, Kazumi, at the million. Damn! <laughs> Sex worker? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> I try so Retire tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> People uh, hate when you make a lot of money in a non-traditional way, and they really hate when you make it off sex work. Yeah. So I was very, very nervous about 
the reaction. I am an anomaly and I don't represent what all sex workers make. I make a lot of money, but it is still something that you should deeply consider before getting into because it is something that has holds a lot of social stigma and does make life hard if you don't like doing it. And uh, I just want to say that... So OnlyFans the way to go. And yeah, that's the answer to the question, Dirty. It says, quick question, why are you such a fucking hoe? Because I feel like I became like comfortable with what I was doing and like I haven't been pushing myself recently. <laughs> but now I'm like, y'all are doing so well. And I'm like, well, that's You're crazy. Really you woke well. up and made a whole website by yourself. Oh, that took me like three great. months was on great. my great. blog to do. Yeah, when I was 19, I was homeless. So I am really proud of you and whatever you've done and the fact that you can employ people and, and do so many cool things of your life. I think there's an idea of what an influencer is in people's heads. And I think it's usually like a airheaded person who just takes selfies or uses a selfie stick. They don't understand, I think, maybe the nuance. Like, I was kind of weird coming into it because I grew up really poor and like $180,000 is like so much money to me. I like, I would be happy making the amount of money I make right now for the rest of my life. And I feel like everyone gets into it and they're like, I have to be a millionaire and I have to like monetize every category of my life. And that's probably where it becomes like an insane job. Kick gonna put two to four K quality option streams in like a year. You're gonna put that in your streams. Uh, probably not. Saying the 80p is great because a lot of devices can't load that shit, so probably not. And now you see why people become OnlyFans models instead of actual models. They're pretty seeing them. So yeah, but remember the girl who makes $110,000 and then she can't gain any weight at all because companies will be like, your hips gained an inch, do better. No job for you. Like, that's a shitty life. Versus OF girls, you can be like 300 pounds and making a million dollars. I'll say maybe like a reconstructive lip one. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. I'm just gonna say something the way they like boob. <laughs> the way they move. <laughs> I think you've had a boob job, so that's gonna be at least one plastic surgery. Yeah. A butt lift? Maybe like a little cheek lift or face to face. I'll say a butt lift. Like a liquid rhino, because like the Purdue nose is so like perfectly shaped. I don't know if you've had that many. No. You, I think you might just be God's favorite. I mean, it felt good. They know they thought I was cute. Your nose and your chin, maybe. And cheek. Yeah, maybe, maybe. maybe some cheek. I don't no. want to say breast augmentation, but. So many people have their boobs on. So many people. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think the nose. But other than that, maybe not that much. I don't know. Unless you're hiding something. All right. Breast augmentation? Yeah, yeah maybe that. Maybe something body She doesn't look like, like she does. Lipo, a talk. That was interesting. I'm <laughs> a pretty like modest person, and I don't try to draw attention to myself. Eyes are gorgeous. I yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all make me blush. Oh my God. <laughs> I do not think you've had any notable cosmetic plastic surgery. Well, I'll say BBL. Yeah. yeah. Maybe BBL. Maybe some Filler. chest. Yeah. Some breast augmentation. Your nose yeah. and maybe your jawline. More on the more surgery okay. side. You know what? I was very flattered Is that people were questioning whether I had a lot of plastic surgeries that I did not have. I thought that was a cute and fun moment. I love that for me. Okay. <laughs> I think you have a nose job. Yeah. I think so too. Like, like a chin surgery? I'm not sure if it's like, like a lipo oh. or like a reconstructive one, but Watch. something I'll like say that. Maybe like a reconstructive lip one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think your boobs are natural though. They love <laughs> 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 You said you probably most. Yeah. I'm gonna be the anchor over here. Yeah. I'm gonna put myself I feel in like the you middle. You had the least. Really? Wait. You think I had the least? Maybe you had the least. Yeah. I'll go here. I think that you should be towards. That end. I, I don't. I don't think you've had as much plastic surgery. Okay. We have to switch. Okay. I think Kelly higher. Higher? Yeah. Than me? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
but I think you should come. Yeah, right there in the middle. I definitely think I've had more than you. Yeah, yeah. I do agree that you guys should okay. I'll just be in the middle right here. I think I might move you up. Okay. I think above. All right. Think above me. Oh, but now. Oh, wait. But now I don't know. It doesn't matter. This isn't even the final. I mean, I only said one for you, so you think oh, it's only okay, one. Okay, two. Two. Do you think we should? I think we should. Okay. Okay. How dangerous do you think it is to get a BBL? I would say it definitely influenced my decision when I was like researching it. That's all I'll say. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Let's just say it influenced my decision. Maybe we should move you down the line then. <laughs> because of like the high prevalence now, I don't think it's as dangerous as it used to be. If you were a girl, your answer would have made me move you more in this direction. Okay. But I also think that your answer he had a BBL. leads me to believe that you have had more plastic surgery yeah, than I Yeah, I agree. Think. I was surprised, but also not surprised that I was the only male here. But once again, like the whole stigma of plastic surgery. Okay, so what does everyone do for a living? I own a business, e-commerce. I work in porn. Nice. Yeah, I have my porn. I own a beauty school. I'm an actress and I do digital marketing. I'm a pastor. I'm a student and fashion designer. So now I work at a ice cream shop, but I was at a strip club. I'm a student. I think that Me? you should be, you should move two spaces down. Why do you think that? Because you're a stripper. Mm -hmm. Well, I just said strip club. I was actually a shot girl. You having worked in a sex industry space makes you more likely to have gotten plastic surgery. I think that if I was not making a living off of social media, I wouldn't have gotten plastic surgery. It's not something that I regret at all, and I'm not gonna be upset to have this appearance whenever I'm done working on social media. When you guys did get your surgeries, did insurance cover it, or did you pay for it? Mine was covered. For the most part, mine was covered. I had partial. Oh, yeah. partial. Well, now I feel like I should go on your other side. Yeah, switch. Yeah. Switch? <laughs> Maybe you and I should switch then. Does anyone have kids? We're all like, hmm. <laughs> I do. I do. Wait, no, because this changes everything. Those look natural. Those look like naturally big ones. How old is everybody? I'm 30. I'm 33. 28. 23. 25. 21. 30. 20. What age was everyone when they got like their first or their only? The first time that I got plastic surgery, I was 29. Oh, so recently. Mm -hmm. I was 31. 19. I was 20, like five days away from being 21. 19. I was 29, so one year ago. Oh, uh, I was 20 and I'm still 20. Um, I was under 24 months. You might also oh, be third. Still... Third? Let's go. I think you only had just one. Yeah, come on down. <laughs> Has anyone experienced any stigma or stereotypes based on their choice? A lot of people think that Asian people get surgery to look whiter, and I don't think that's true. It's the most untrue stereotype, and I think it really sucks. Plus, there's different beauty standards in Asia, so to be saying that you look like a white person just doesn't make any sense either, so. I honestly think that if I were to get plastic surgery in the future, or if you know anyone were to, I don't think your eccentric beauty standards should be held to a point where, where they should. It should be to the most of where they feel comfortable um, and not letting those standards, you know, influence them as much. It's it's a hard thing though. I feel like like when we see people, like I don't see people with like facial features like me very often in, in Hollywood and American media and things like that. Who else faces stigma? For sure I do, cause you know, I'm a mom. So like the first thing my, my family's like, no, like I should just be worried about my children and you know, the risks that are involved, they didn't want me to go under. I sometimes feel that guilt. Did I make the right choice doing that? Was I being selfish when I did that? I needed to do it for myself because I didn't like the person that I was looking at every time I look in the mirror. Would anyone get more, I guess? No. I would get more. I wouldn't. I would say just because of what I learned, I wouldn't do it again and what I've experienced myself. But what did you learn? The self-love part. That's yeah. really sweet. Yeah. <laughs> I purposely just would it because I don't have the bandage for that. So I, mean, I would do another surgery. Mine was more of a medically informed decision. I think it's something that I considered prior to some information, um, but thought, oh, I would never do that. And then when I was presented different facts about my body, I chose to do certain things. I think that the two of you should switch because the way that you're talking about 
all of this. I think you, you have only had new, like a surgery done once, and, and I feel like you might have had two procedures. Whatever reason you got plastic surgery might have been something ongoing that resulted in you getting procedures in two different spans of time. Potentially. And maybe let's adjust the move you up to the second in line, I think. Let's do a little switch around. I feel like you should go in front of Emma, though. Let's be buddies. I disagree, but we'll go. I think I need to go back down, guys. Oh, I think I really do, yeah. I would switch to a heel. Okay. 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 I'm good with this. Eight spot, we have Ahmad. I knew it. Mm -hmm. Also, with one surgery, we have Jordan in the same spot. Two surgeries, we have Jessica in the same spot. Okay. In the fifth, Amber with three surgeries. In fourth, Sabrina also with three, so tied. In third, Kelly with five. Second, Emma with 10. <laughs> 10. First, Cassidy with 15. What? She was oh. fucked up as a kid. You know what? That should have clicked earlier. I had a major septo septoplasty. Uh, so I had a deviated septum, um, and also like there was like a growth, so they had to just yeah, just whole facial septum. reconstruction. I had a breast reduction in 2021, so I went from a size 30J to I think I'm a 32E now. Wow. So, yeah, my back was hurting all the time. <laughs> Thank you. In 2020, I found out that I have a genetic mutation called BRCA2, and I learned about this after my mom and my aunt both had breast cancer. Last year, I had a preventative yep. double mastectomy, and then this February, I had reconstructive surgery. I found out that yep. through my Called health it. care provider, they Woo! only do 10 preventative surgeries like that in a year. It was an emotional journey, but one that I look back on and I'm proud that I did what I did. I had breast augmentation and then just last month I got it taken out. As time goes by, I see all these confident women with no boobs. I made that impulsive decision like, hey, I want these out. I'm engaged now. I don't need this look. I don't work in a strip club anymore. So I oh, got a mommy makeup. Her fiance, he got tricked. And then she's like, I got that ring. Bye. <laughs> Fucked. Oh, oh, man. Two years ago. He cried in the club. Breast lift and a tummy He down bed crying and at the gym. About four months ago, I got a breast augmentation. Okay, so my first procedure was the double eyelid surgery. Then after that, I got Maybe my both agreed. jaw Hopefully. Um, shaved. And then my third one was the buccal fat removal. And then the fourth one was uh, laser lipo. I got it done. I regret it. And then the fifth one is Kybella to try to revise it. Kybella, filler, basically all over my face. And then all at once, I got jawline lipo, buccal fat removal, 360 lipo. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And about four months ago, I got a breast augmentation. Okay, so my first procedure okay. was the double eyelid surgery. Then after that, I got my jaw um, shaved. And then my third one was the buccal fat removal. I do not understand the... having your jaw shaved. Having a jaw, you can look and snatched. I don't understand this one that want fucking no jaw. Fourth one was uh, laser lipo. I got it done. I regret it. And then the fifth one is Kybella to try to revise it. Kybella filler, basically all over my face. Kybella filler all face. over. And then all at once, I got jawline lipo, buccal fat removal, 360 lipo, arm lipo. And then I got it all injected into my ass with the... <laughs> you can do that? I don't have any fat to <laughs> remove. I, <laughs> there's nothing to remove from my face. I was born with a bilateral cleft lip and palate, so I've had 15 total revisions 
I had a bone graft when I was 12. I had double jaw surgery when I was 15. I have cheek implants and I had liposuction under my jaw. Wow. My boobs are natural. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a face. Mine didn't form correctly. Yeah, I was born with I a birth defect. I don't know what I look like. I get to almost kind of help create that and be my most ideal self. If you are like not feeling good, like let people know. Like if you need um, a surgery that where they get all this money to do this pleasant. shit, only fans. Surgery, like you're your best advocate. You're your own advocate. Keep making um, an effort to make yourself feel at your best, and don't let anything take its take its toll on you. I think if you're considering getting a surgery done, make sure to research, research, research. But my boobs are natural as mm -hmm. well. <laughs> <laughs>
down on one knee. Oh. <laughs> Can't say no. <laughs> yes. Yes. She's like, that's fine. Three, two, one. Oh. Okay. Sure. Like this. Yes. Maybe we could do something to look like sidekicks. You'd be like the hero. Okay. I'd be the sidekick. Okay. All right. Moms aren't like that. <laughs> oh, okay, she hesitated, but she was like, I guess. I tried my best. Hi. I'm Charlotte. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. My name is Kirsten. I'm super nervous. <laughs> I wonder if mom is studying her son's reactions faces because she knows him the best. Like, I wonder if she's swiping based off of that, or if she's doing it based off of, like, the appearance of, like, a family member seeing it on Facebook. It's friendly. It's okay. How are you doing? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about you. So, my name is Ksenia. I'm originally from Russia, but I moved to Austria, and now I'm here, so I've been moving a lot. I'm originally from Washington State, so I love the outdoors. I go to Cal State Fullerton. I'm studying mechanical engineering with an art minor. I made these shoes. These are custom shoes. Wow. Um, it's like my frat because I'm in an engineering fraternity. Yeah. I am also the president of the fashion club at my school. Mm. That's really cool. And then I'm very athletic and I like working out and like going on I adventures. Can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I'm a creative person, so I love painting, I love art, drawing, playing guitar. And I love sports too. What kind of sport do you like? Basketball. Yes. Mm -hmm. Who's your team? Ooh, that's a tough one right now. There's only one right answer. Really? Yeah. I'm gonna say Warriors. Yeah, okay. okay. Where's your hometown? Oh, my hometown? San Jose. I don't know, are you Vietnamese? Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of Vietnamese so, people yeah, there. We've been, yeah, I yeah. have I have relatives living in San Jose. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's really nice. It's similar to Phuc Lip Tha. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're Vietnamese? Uh, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh. Yeah. I love, mm -hmm. I love music and music festivals and concerts. What was your last concert? Um, I just went to Coachella, actually. I was there, too. Awesome. Weekend one, weekend two. Mm -hmm. oh. You went both weekends? I had to work there, so oh, I was there. What you plan for after you're done school and you're going to do the design? When I graduate, I plan on doing like engineering, like solar panels and stuff. After I get enough experience with that, I'll just start designing my own products and then I'll have like a clothing line on the side too. So Busy. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah a lot going on. Entrepreneur stuff. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Very good business minded. Any relationship you have before in the past? I've had two like serious relationships. One actually was with a woman and um, I broke up with her a little while ago. We were just both not mentally stable to be taking care of each other in relationships, so we're both better now. Mm -hmm. Mom said, never mind. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> are you are you uncomfortable? No, no I'm, I'm good not. to know. I'm very, sorry for her to ask no, very nice to tell me about that. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, very yeah. Fast. yeah, I like that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, like to be honest, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's important. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready to date? Who? <laughs> and, and like not okay in general, in general. Uh, yeah, that was like um, that sounded crazy. <laughs> not like that. Um. I mean, yeah, if someone is, you know, oh if someone worthy yeah. enters the scenario, which they haven't, but we'll see. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are you like her? Yeah, yeah. Keep, keep, uh, keep the sign. Yeah, yeah, keep us this way. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Yeah, very nice. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, I forgot again, I'm sorry. Yeah. Right? Right. Oh, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey, nice meeting you guys. Nice to meet you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brian, are you okay? It was, it was alright. So, Mom, is there anything you want to say to the girls before we pick? So, you're all so beautiful. And if I don't you order, that means I don't like you. I still like you a lot. But I cannot get all. Oh. This time my heart is telling me I'm too nervous. <laughs> <laughs> mm. uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hi. 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 Hi
How is it? Good. <laughs> I'm curious. I picked this one because he was at my, you know, uh, yeah, creating think all this, uh, yeah. all this to me, what, what, yeah, yeah. and then about fashion. Yeah, yeah. You know, we love fashion, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why. She always like. said, like, if she had a daughter, she would take her shopping nonstop because she loves yeah. fashion. So. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Sign me up. Yeah. Take me shopping, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Hi. Uh, how's your name again? Fabiola. Fabiola, okay. Were you surprised? I had like no idea. So it's like, this is awesome. Cool. <laughs> Great pick. Yeah, for sure. Do, do you like it? No. <laughs> do you like it? I mean, <laughs> he doesn't like it. I picked the one I like. More than he likes. <laughs> My son. Oh my god. Hi, <laughs> babe. She said fashion and business, and I saw my mom like lit up. But she's great. She seems really cool. Is she who you would have selected for yourself? No. Probably not, but I'm open to anything. She's super creative. I'm super creative too. Love to chat, see where it goes. So. You said you like to shop? There's like 10 closets. <laughs> Because since uh, back home, I really was a dressmaker when I was very young. Work, I always dress up. I always, you know, yeah. customers say, I never see you wear the same thing for 17, 20 years, you know? I'm Sage. Uh, I'm a senior at a small university in San Diego studying international relations. And my dad is with me here today. <laughs> Clyde Tabor. I lead a faith Dad based picks for his company. daughter. Let's go. Dad, what are you going to be looking for today? Personality, desires, interests, substance, etc. Height. Maybe. Okay. I'm 5'10. So. Probably. I am an includer, so the idea of excluding people based on appearance is not natural. No. Oh, interesting, so they have her versus her dad. That's funny. Everybody needs to be named and known and seen and loved and it's like, gosh, kill her. Dad is going to be judging you based on your handshake and introduction. Oh, really? Good call. That was brilliant. Hello, sir. It's very nice to meet you. What's what? your name? My name's Carter. What's your name? Carter, I'm Clyde. You look a lot like Steve Martin. Wow. <laughs> okay, dude. Oh, a little long one. Okay, sorry, sorry. Okay. <laughs> wow. I'm Justin. Justin. Yes. Hi, I'm Ryan. Nice to meet you. Ryan, come on over. Hi, I'm Al. Thanks Al? How's it going, sir? My name's Will. Hey, name? Will Clyde. How's it going, Clyde? Good to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Kate. Oh, yeah. Kate. Nice to meet you. I like her dad better than her. <laughs> Thailand, like the country. I love that one. <laughs> He's so, like, sociable. Yeah. We're like a fun <laughs> <laughs> Rufus. Yeah. Go this way. My name's Zach. It's nice to meet you. Zach, go this way. My name's Nico. Nico, can I give you a hug? 
please. Uh, <laughs> you give uh, such nice hugs. Uh, My name is Melvin. You have a beautiful smile, sir. Oh, Melvin! Sucking <laughs> it up, bro. Yeah, you can come on in. I'm Arthur. Arthur. Nice to meet you. Can I give you a hug? A hug means goodbye. Oh, Arthur. <laughs> Thank you. You can go. I thought Arthur was really cute. <laughs> With his purple shoes and his foreign accent. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> uh, my name's Jether. Jether? Yes. Clyde. Clyde. From the right. Ah. Uh, my name's Ricky. Ricky? <laughs> yeah. Go to the right. Thanks. <laughs> she gave me some cues like, there's a couple guys in there. And I was trying to think, okay, who are those couple of guys? My dad. No is my type. And I was like, oh, my dad will know. He'll know. And then I was I was shocked to say the least. <laughs> nice to meet you again. Your name again? Cade. I'm Ryan. Ryan. Zach. All right, Zach. Tell me about you. Um, I live in New York. I'm a music business student at Syracuse. Uh, I'm a musician. I am a videographer in the film, and I do martial arts. So I'm currently going to CSUOB, majoring in chemistry. I'm working toward becoming an EMT, but the long-term goal would be a firefighter, so that's what I would see myself in five years. Uh, I studied finance and data analytics at University of Maryland. I currently work as a public sector consultant. Okay, bro, you just said University of Maryland. Just go right. Sorry. You turf? Are you turf? I'm a turf, bro. You turf? <laughs> you know, I don't know why that was very unplanned. I don't know. That was visceral. So my name is William. I'm going to the <laughs> University of Maryland. Well. Ah, <laughs> nice one. Yeah, I'm doing. Uh, I'm a you do not. I do. Third. College Which Park. campus? College Park. Where do you live? Dale Hall. Okay. <laughs> Yo, Terp, where'd you live? I don't know. That was about me. You kind of called me out. So I like to say that I'm kind of good at golf, so if you want to play golf sometime, I've been right. looking for a partner, so. I suck at golf, but I can teach you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me about your family. Um, my mom's from India. Uh, we used to go every year. Um, she's amazing, uh, and I look up to her for a lot of inspiration. And my dad's a doctor. I appreciate my relationship a lot with him now that I'm here. Tell me something about your past dating life. Um, I think I've tried not to like throw myself into relationships when like I don't think I've been ready for them. But I think I'm at a point in my life right now where I am ready. Okay, so why are you on this episode? I'm on this episode because I'm looking for love and I'm trying to meet a nice dad. Which I think I, I think I did. I'll be honest, I'm here because like I said, I just started my businesses, so I feel like I'm just trying to get my face out there as much as possible. Fair enough. And you know, I just love I can talk, I can talk. All right, dude, can I give you a hug? Of course, man. Goodbye. Good job. Good job. Can I give you a hug? Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Watch. Thank you. All right, bro. Go to the right. Thank you. Bro, I just swiped you right. Swiping you right. Appreciate it. Okay, go, 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 right. Thank you. All right. Thank you, sir. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you so All much. Right. All right. I believe it, yeah. Did I only, only eliminate one? Two. Oh, I have an idea. I have two questions for each guy, the whole group. Tell me something about your spiritual slash faith life, and what's your opinion about the border crisis between Russia <laughs> and Ukraine? Wow. Two questions, are we ready? Boom. I go to the gym a lot, and after the gym, I like just meditating, doing yoga. Spirituality isn't the biggest part of my life. I think it takes a bit more of a, a broader spiritual sense, but I think Christianity is the lens through which I make sense of who God is. So I was raised as a Buddhist, um, but nowadays at school, almost all of my friends are Christian, so I'd, I'd say I'm pretty open-minded. I grew up Hindu, but um, I also grew up in a Muslim country, so I've learned a lot about Islam. I've learned a lot about different religions. I think it's important to have that perspective. For me, um, my whole family is Christian. Everybody's Christian. Christian. Um, I'm also a Christian as well. And question two, I'm not a big fan of Russia's moves in Ukraine. Um, I think, I mean, it's mostly about Crimea, right? And I just think they should kind of leave them alone. Russia's already big enough. For Russia, I know they're trying to pull a false flag on Ukraine and try to say like people are attacking Russia so they could, you know, attack and invade. It's just going to cause like a huge, you know, problem in Europe. As far as I remember, um, Russia's invading Ukraine. I'm pretty ignorant on the topic, but I would be happy to have you educate me. Personally, I don't know that much about it. I could learn and should learn more. I don't know much about it. I don't know enough to comment, and so I don't want to. I do not know much about the conflict to make an informed opinion, so I will not answer that question. I also would not like to talk out of my ass. Sorry. 
right. You're to the right. You can go right. You can go right. To the right. All right, bro, you can go right. All right, you can go right. All right, to the right. Okay. No. Too. Oh, did you like my inner OCD kind of kicked in? I just had so many questions. Okay. It's hard. You know, when I think about life, dating, I think my biggest thing about dating is the, blonde the guy. kind of guy you date is probably the kind of guy you could marry. I'm not saying this is a marriage okay. thing, Okay. but the direction you start in is probably the direction you keep going. So you want to date the kind of people that have that potential. Uh, I think you will like this person. I think you're gonna find him handsome. Okay. And I think you may have a connection on the faith spiritual level. Okay. And there's a surprise, a bonus feature. Great. That will wait to tell you the third thing about him. Oh, this is great, okay. Oh, really? Hey! hey. <laughs> he picked the shorter guy? My name is Will. Well, nice to meet <laughs> nice you. Nice to meet you. Oh, that, yeah, was, the, that was the university uh, pick. <laughs> I don't know. Eh? I'm assuming it's because I go to the University of Maryland. Oh, uh, Maryland boy. Yeah. Dad. <laughs> <laughs> but are you from Maryland? No, my dad grew up in Bias. Maryland. Bias. <laughs> I've, I've road tripped Maryland. Which part? Couldn't tell you. I was 12. I ate a lot of crap. I can show you. Okay, I'll have to see you next time I'm now. I'll be in New York this summer. Sorry. You can take me there. Okay. There you Sounds go. good. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> well, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Thank you for a number of Instagram. Yes. Oh, I put my Instagram in. Okay. Definitely a surprise. Because yeah. he was shorter than me. But then the Maryland thing made a little more sense. And he has a really beautiful eyes. So we'll see. Do you think your dad kind of chose someone that he would like to hang out with? Probably. Yeah. It sounded like he was really getting along with everyone. I just was hanging out with some of the guys, and I'd love to get to know them more because they're all interesting, amazing, creative. Is my dad more conservative than this dad? People. I think so, yeah. My dad is definitely also a little more racist. It's not that like he can't be friends with black people, but I don't think he would ever approve of me bringing home a black guy. Just because of like this classic stereotype that they're more dangerous. It's just, he's, he is like that. He's also 5'4", though, so I think black guys intimidate him. <laughs> like, on a personal level, I feel like he's a little intimidated. I feel like he feels nervous when he walks by guys, like, in the dark alley, like... <laughs> uh, <laughs> a little bit. Well, learning your stories is just part of the richness of life. I love my dad. He makes everyone feel very loved. Yeah, sure. He has my number, so it's up to him. But he seems like a really nice guy, so we'll see. I'm like super open to meeting and hanging out with anyone. Yeah. That's how your mom used to be. We got to do it by dating really shitty white guys. Fair enough. You go upstairs. Oh, yeah, sure. There was two of them. Yeah, the other one's in your vanity. I'm not sure which one's more important. I'll use the vanity one. Okay. It's only like a. Wait a minute. It's like a minute and a half song. Okay. Yep. Okie dokie. Um, I'm gonna go now. We have a photo shoot and then I have like a meeting as well. So I gotta go. But uh, I'll be back later today. All right. Bye for now, you guys. Go so long. See ya. See you later.